Welcome to another episode of Bad Rumors and Chill. I'm your host, Gabriel Salcedo. I know, I know this episode is coming out a wee bit, a wee bit late, lad. But I mean, you know, I had to. An equivalent, equivalent exchange to do. It was late, but now I did an episode with Carlos and Angel, right? So it's not that bad that it's late. So fucking don't bitch so much. And if you want to, you can send it to Banner with Jill at gmail.com. Guys, I haven't been really using that email lately. The last one I got was like a few months ago. You guys keep sending me the same shit, though. Same silly ass questions. I mean, not the real same questions, but. They fucking might as well be the same questions. You know what I mean? But, um, shout out to those who've been fucking using it. Um, I'm also doing it in the beginning, so I'm doing it at the fucking end. Um, I'm not gonna say, well, me rating all fucking, don't forget to rate and subscribe, meow, meow, meow. You're gonna listen to me wherever, wherever you're listening to me now. Keep listening to me there. But if you got a fucking friend, a buddy, you know, someone's fucking taking a long trip somewhere on a train, I don't know, fucking something's going somewhere. It's going on a flight that's like three hours. You know what I mean? You can listen to me on Stitch Radio, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, iTunes, of course, Google Play, uh, SoundCloud, uh, uh, my website, website which is mobile friendly for you people who keep asking me. Yeah, it's fucking mobile friendly. I'm pretty sure I said this before, or I thought I did in my head after I was recording, but yeah, it's mobile friendly. You fucking open up your your web your web browser, you fucking go to it, you press play, you can exit out, close your phone, it still plays, as long as your phone's on, of course. So yes, it is mobile friendly. Um, all, it's soon, the Pandora thing, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I kept going back and forth with emails, and they're like, really, I'm really close to telling you to back a dicks. But, um, we'll see. But, just, I'm not, I mean, it's Pandora. Who the fuck listens? Who really uses Pandora anymore, right? Anyways, all right, two minutes. This is a long intro, kind of. All right, guys, suck it easy. Enjoy the show. I'll see you next week now. <laughs> So, um, oh, when, when was the last time I saw you? Uh, Friday 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 So I took Did you know the girl That I, that I told you about The presenting girl Yeah And have Dominican I took her I took her to go axe throw. We went to another spot though It's called Kick Axe yeah. They allow alcohol there Nice But I don't, I don't like that They didn't give us A free range thing Like they put us in a group And we had to like Play a game With them Yeah But they were cool people There was a lot of people there Yeah Friday. But they, they were fun people To play with <coughs> We had a good team going We were okay. definitely The minority group It was a bunch of whites me, her, an Asian, a black dude, and a gay dude. And then it became a sitcom. Wait. It's almost. Was it was it the Kick Axe? Kick Axe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the one you were telling me about. And then we ended up going to the uh, since we were in the area, we ended up going to um Is that the Brazilian Union pool? That's the Brazilian girl you've been talking about? Yeah, we went to the she's half the meeting her Brazilian. We went to Union Pool. I thought she was just old is that the same girl? That- yeah. So he met her. No way. Dude, yeah, he you met, met her. her before me? Yeah. Dude. Oh, we are not friends. <laughs> we are not friends. Are you, are you sure? I got you to finally open up about her. and then What do you mean open up about her? I didn't have to have an open you up about her. So, you, dude, you were so close. Gay, I'm not like, close at all. I just you were so close, No bro. one. I don't tell shit unless people ask. And I got you to open up. And then he's you the first get, one to meet you. He meet was her? in the area. He hit me up. And I was like, yeah, come yeah, through, man. I'm, I'm like, sorry, right man. Here. It's just, I, we didn't plan it. It's just that we're better recording? friends. No. <laughs> it's just uh, we're better friends. I am totally not recording. You're fucking recording. <laughs> I am not recording you at all. You're a piece of shit. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he met her. She's mad cool, though, right? Yo, she's pretty dope, man. She's pretty dope. I was it was it was cool. It was really unexpected, bro. Bag. I come on, I saw my mouth shut when Dude, we started recording. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just the whole thing was is that he was like, um, I was like, I hit him up and I'm like, yo, I was like, where are you at? Because we were like, you know, we we're all talking and shit about like just meeting up. He was like, yo, I'm I'm like three blocks from your house. Yeah, and I was like, get the fuck out. And he's like, yeah. He's like, where are you at? And I'm like, I'm heading back to Brooklyn like right now. I'm like, were well, you like get the fuck out? I'm three blocks away from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. So then like I ended up meeting up with Steven and then me. 
and Steven like came back and then he was just like, because our plan was to smoke. So I asked Gabe, I'm like, yo, do you want to smoke? And he's like, yeah, just come meet me at Union Pool. And when I got there, he was like, hey. And I was like, what's up? He's like, uh, like this is, I don't even remember her name. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I was, Dan, this is I was just drunk. Yeah, I was just She's got a long Portuguese name or a Dominican name. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I was pretty drunk. When I first that night. met her, I thought that her first name, that her. When she told me her first name, I thought it was her first and last name. Yeah, yeah. When he was like, uh, what's like, her name? Her full first name is Dani Savel. That's yeah. so she's got like her dad's name and her mom's name put Dude, together. I don't fucking know. Danny and Isabel. Danny Savel. Danny and Isabel. Yes, yeah, Danny Sable. Danny Sable. Yeah. <laughs> Danny Sable. That That's sounds like name? a type Sable. of car. <laughs> Danny, Danny Sable Isabel. No, just what? Danny Sabel. Danny, Danny Sable. S a b e l. Did you get a new cover for your laptop? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I got distracted by this. I put new stickers on it. But it, this is a blue. No, I always had that cover. The, yeah? Just, just new stickers. Dude, I, I never need to put get stickers a, on it. I need to get a lap, another laptop. So do I. For this. This shit, man. It's bad? It's not bad, but having a fucking air, his space is very super uh, limited. How much you want for it? I'm not gonna. I'm not selling it. I'm. I'm adding. <laughs> I'm adding to the inventory. Not taking. All right. It's not a trade off. <laughs> I'm willing to buy a computer. No, 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 no. How no. much? I you still, to I still, because when I use for this podcast, I use one to record and then one for whatever the fuck else I want to do, for, like mm. editing and stuff. That's why I want to get a pro. <laughs> it takes forever. I try to make a video. Yeah, it's impossible to put to YouTube on this, dude. It takes fucking like three days. Damn, yeah. For it's fucking crazy. Ever. It's crazy. Yeah. So I need a pro. Yeah, like the my the lab one, the laptop that I have, I've had it since we went to LaGuardia together. I've had it for like seven years, and it should still run smooth. Really, I had mine since two thousand nine, and I went and it went two times to Afghanistan with me, and then it survived an explosion. Yo, his shit is old as dicks. That's a ten year old laptop. I think what two thousand nine is more than ten. It's, it's more, than, it's more than, than, than ten. 10. Yeah, two thousand nine. It's twenty nineteen. No, 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 no. You're no, you're. I'm saying his yours has to be older than two thousand nine. No, no, it's two thousand nine uh, MacBook Pro. Could have saw it was older. Could have saw you told me it was 2005 or some shit like no, that. No, it was 2009. And it went to Afghanistan with me twice. And one time I left it in my in a, a buddy's, uh, the other truck. Yeah. And I went back to my truck and then we moved out. And then it that truck got, exp- that truck got, an hit, got hit by an ID and it just fucking flew everywhere. And I didn't even care about everyone in the truck. I was like, oh shit, my laptop's in there. Fuck, I would have been like that. that's that's so I'm funny. like, oh, shit, my porn. Yeah, I got a lot <laughs> of nudes. All my, all my, vid- my movies. Dude, my I, porn. Hope, that's, that's I hope a, my hard drive I, survives. Like, I, got all those, I got all those nudes from the girls back in the States. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked up. Do you remember, like, when I went to Afghanistan the first time in um, um, Camp Bastion, that yeah. neck, uh, when we uh, took over for the unit we were replacing, um, they were so kind. They were like, dude, you guys are gonna be miserable here. Here's like here's this uh hard drive full of porn. Take as much as you want. And it was like everyone was giving their hard drive. That was we were trading like information, we were trading rounds, Jesus. we were trading guns. Yeah, so you do man, you just trade shit. <laughs> and then and then shit. we were also trading fucking um uh trade supplies for knives. Yeah, we fuck were, sleeves. You're trading fuck sleeves. We were trading fucking hard drives. Like <laughs> we came in, we came like they were done. So yeah. they had shit ton of Fucking material! Oh, I could only imagine. We, we put them on the on the thumb drives, and we used to give yeah. it to each other like yeah. that. Just like short just, movies. So like you take as much as you want, and mm-hmm. that's how I got like episodes of SVU, Friends. I I've literally seen like so much TV show. Did, so that's what you got to do, man? Did you guys have like the thing on the links where it was like it, it's literally like on the on the like the main military like fucking site? I forget what it was, but it's like a file, and it's over like ten thousand movies. Damn, Damn. Like, it was like insane, and like it's it's just movies, and there's like another file that's like just TV shows, and they have it separated by decades. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Damn. Yeah, like it was insane. Talk about TV organized. shows, yo. But so. that's that's like you know poke shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, access to everything, poke shit. It is a poke shit. I started getting into watching a lot of Amazon Prime now. Yo, have yeah. you guys seen Man in High Castle? No, no I've heard of it though. Of that it. is a really good, good fucking really? show, man. Right. Yeah. It's actually a really good show. Yeah, I want to see it. I like. I'm totally. I'm going through the second season now, and I'm like, yo, this is a fucking great show. Is it in English or in German? It's in English. Do they, the the, do the, they the dub, theme song kind of throws me off. Do they dub German? Do, do some people speak German? I mean, you can change it. I mean, yeah, some people do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But you can dub it to speak all in Germany. You can pick a language, of course. Nice. But it's a yeah. fucking good. It's a good show. You can dub it to speak in German. I mean, yeah, you can do that with a bunch of shit. You right. pick, You know, sick. Select your language. You guys seen the Umbrella Academy? 
No, I heard good I, things I about it, it, though. I saw, it. saw it. it. Is it good? I, I'm on episode. I'm on what episode is five. it? Is it supposed to be some funny shit or? It it kind of is. It has like it's it has like it's it's really weird. It's like it's like an action so, love apparently everything story. This uh, punk rock dude back in like the '90s or I don't know maybe '80s early late '80s. Yeah, he wrote that comic book. He was like, hey, I I want to write a comic book, and he wrote Umbrella Academy, and he pretty much created the the characters and everything. So. The whole thing is going like it came from came from him. It, it, the, I don't listen. know his name, but uh, it's pretty interesting. But the show is okay. Yeah, it's good to watch. We got nothing to watch. I like how you just discover more and more shit. Like you know what I mean? Because it's like it doesn't like it, it doesn't just take like place in one time frame. It's like this whole thing about like all right, you know how in like Rick and Morty. They have yeah. um, they have like alternate dimensions. On this one, they have like space uh, time jumpers, right? So like basically, there's like a, a year, like it's what is it like 1980 something, like 1980 whatever, mm-hmm. and like they're, they're literally like that, like there's like 43, 43 births around the world that all happened, yeah. right? That were these women like woke up, were not pregnant, and then like by midday they gave birth. What the fuck? So like yeah, they like literally it was just like within the, within the, within an instance, within an instance of like a minute or two. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, so, like, they were all, like, extraordinary babies. Like, everybody thought it was, like, a really weird thing. So, this one rich guy, he was like, fuck this. Like, I'm going to go and, like, adopt them. Adopt? So, yeah, he's like, I'm going to adopt as many as I can because he's like, he thinks that that's what's going to change well, it was the more world. like he bought. Well, yeah, he, he like, but so he bought babies? He basically bought, bought seven Fucking babies. Fucking bought babies, man. He, yeah, he bought seven of them. And, like, so, like, he, like, those are the only ones he could get his hands on. Oh, You Jesus. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> when you're a rich white guy, you can get away with buying away, babies. Yeah, that's, how, yeah, that's actually much. how I went. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he bought, like, it's crazy because, it, like, if... Like, it, it looks like a fucking, what, what's her name, Angelina Jolie's family. Like, they're from <laughs> everywhere. They're, like, everywhere. It's like a little Asian. There's, like, a Latino. There's, like, there's like a black. I'm sure there is. Yeah, there's, like, a, 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 a like a Russian. There's, there's like, it's, like, a mixture of all this stuff. Yeah. And it's, but it's, like, cool because they all have, like, all these different powers. You know what I mean? And, uh, but it's not, like, it's not, like, X-Men style, you no. know? Like, what is it, like? <clears throat> it's more dark comic. It's more, like, yeah? dark comic. Meaning, like, like, w- like, Watchmen, I would say. Yeah, I would yeah, say, like, like Watchmen. I like that. Uh, because yeah. one guy's a drug addict, really bad drug addict. Fuck and they yeah. all have problems. Power? They all have his, daddy no. problems. <laughs> well, actually, his power is that he remember, can take drugs. But, remember yeah. Heroes? That, that was a guy who's, yeah, like, heroes. he could only, he could only, uh, the, the guy who drew the comics, he could only use his powers when he was doing, like, heroin. Heroin, that's yeah. weird shit. <laughs> he could have sort of, like, I his powers. Yeah. That's what he was doing heroin. And then he would fucking paint canvases for days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was nuts. He was like, oh, I like pretty colors. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, in this one, it was like, yeah, there's like the one, there's like one brother that like, you don't find out what he does until later in the movie because like, yeah. we started off, like he's kind of just disappeared. Mm-hmm. Right. Then there's like no, another the one brother, which brother? I'm talking Asian about the Asian one? one. He didn't disappear. He died. I know, but no, because. Oh, wait, you're not up there yet. No. Yeah. I don't know how he died and I'm not there yet. Oh, fuck. But, like, Damn. But, but, like, way to fucking ruin it. No, no. You know, he's dead. Like they talk, oh. like you find that in the beginning. <laughs> way to not of, ruin it. In episode one, you find out like he, you find out like basically everything about all the, all the siblings because it's, it takes place like in their thirties. Oh, so okay. it's like, they're like, they all get a letter like dad died. Yeah. So five of them show up and then like they, then you find out one of the brothers disappeared when he was a teen mm-hmm. and you find out another brother died and then like they're all like reunited and all this shit and then you find out that there's like more history to that you know what i mean like like he said the one brother he's like a drug addict and all he does is see dead people so he Jesus. communicates with the dead i still don't know i like i they haven't um i don't think they ever said the power of like the of like the black chick the black chick she can manipulate people like she can control oh people. yeah yeah that's true yeah if she yeah. says she whispers yeah, she whispers oh, she, yeah she's yeah, got to say like i heard always a whisper and shit yeah yeah ears. yeah she yeah she whispers and then like the white girl like she doesn't have a power yeah. until later don't i haven't seen it don't tell me that that's was a power cool. privilege was, huh it's probably power privilege no she's <laughs> she's like she's a hipster so like it's privilege her power is is <laughs> is like feeling really unique while not being noticed <laughs> like, <laughs> that's pretty much it you don't have to watch the whole movie to understand yeah. that about her yeah. that's uh, her power it's like it's juno bro it's like it's it was juno, juno. juno. It's the same girl yeah. it's juno. Uh, it's juno yeah it's her and then but there's i like, think she was in jimmy fallon not too long ago when yeah, the whole, she was fucking up when the whole um uh, small Jesse Smollett thing went down. Mm-hmm. She was like, I can't believe it. She started crying. It was like this hate, this uh, hate is going on in the country. She wasn't even real. I knew it wasn't real from the beginning. It's fucking. I weird. told people there's no way that's gonna happen. One, two, the 
That's the nigger from Empire. No one wearing a MAGA hat fucking watches what show? What Empire, is it? Empire? Empire, Empire. 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 They're not watching that shit, yeah, man. Th- yeah, no one, and on top of that, no, one, no one's going to be like, this is MAGA country. Yeah. And on top of that, they were going through a fucking winter vortex. <laughs> yeah. No one's going to be outside at two in the you morning. No, the crazy bro. thing yeah. is, the crazy thing is, the two black dudes, the two Nigerian dudes, yeah. could not find a, a Make America Great hat anywhere in the whole city. Yeah, I was no like, Chicago? One, I was like, no, that shit, no one's selling that. They it's Chicago. Not, yeah, yeah, so Chicago. what they did was they just bought two red hats. They're that's the, it. They're, that's the first city you that know, banned fucking R. Kelly. So like, Jesus, that you, you know, they're, they're woke. Do you, <laughs> do you know, it's, when, when, I heard when they got, when it got to his apartment, he still, he had like the noose the around, noose his, around neck his neck stick. And they were like, why did you, why do you still have that on? He's like, oh, I want to preserve it. For evidence, for evidence. Like, so just do this, man. Just hold it in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you carrying it around? Like, is so addition. <laughs> yeah. So when I, also, there's another dude, another, another gay one. dude who burnt, who purposely burnt down his house in Chicago. Are you fucking kidding? And me? is claiming um, uh, hate violations again. What is he getting kicked off a show or something? Because apparently no. that's why he did it. He did it because he was getting written off, and he was like, "No, they said they this said is a, it wasn't." This is, this is another guy. This is no, 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 I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying the Jesse. The reason yeah. why he did it, I heard he wasn't getting. He wasn't off. getting. He, uh, yeah, they said that there was. He didn't ask for money. It wasn't for anything. For it no, wasn't for anything. Yeah. They don't know why he. Yeah, did he just it. did it. He just did it for like attention. What a fucking. But weirdo. I think it's more than that. I think it's just not not just attention. I think that uh, our society is so vo- volatile right now that the people who want to be victimized. Aren't seeing the actual evidence of victimization, so they're making it up. I see that, man. I, so I, they're making it up so other so that it can be real, but it's not real. Like people, like obviously, there's some, there's some, um, there's some hate hate crimes going on, but the majority is not is not towards. It's pe- definitely like, not in Chicago. As soon as they shut Chicago, I was like, wait, but there's like nothing. There's nothing. Is it like like the there. second Atlanta? There's nothing but black people. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Chicago. It's very. It's a lot of. And the people who are there are white are just like trailer parks. So like, it's not- definitely not mega country. They yeah. they voted Democrat for the last eighty something years, bro. The vo- voted Democrat. I know we should have done that somewhere else <laughs> right? where it was believable. Yeah, like go to <laughs> Texas or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, go to a crazy. middle state. Yeah, go to like go to, go to Alabama or Mississippi. Or <laughs> yeah. That was fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know that. That's crazy. The Chicago's weird. They're getting weird. Yeah. They're turning into fucking Florida. Chicago turning into Florida? No one's yeah. ever going to be like Florida. Those Everybody, also, everyone also, doing weird shit. Everyone in Florida alligators does weird shit. Kids. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, yeah, right? Fucking taking bath salts and eating people's faces. Oh, my God. People from so Florida awesome. are just weird. I know. Dude, Dude what, you heard about that? What is it? They brought, I was watching the Trevor Noah show and then like uh, the Daily Show with Trevor Noah. And they were like saying that like uh, what is it? It was it was a millionaire like mm-hmm. who got like he was accused for over like thirty fucking pedophile cases and he's a Jeez, billionaire. Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah, right. He's yeah, a billionaire. Everyone knows Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, and then like and then like he's he's still not nothing's happened to this yeah, guy. Yeah, because he's a fucking billionaire. Yeah, he's like a billionaire. Well, the, also he's got connections like you, just to be just to understand what's going on. This guy had his own island. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, when you're a billionaire, you gotta have connections. Yeah, you're and a billionaire. and yeah. he's literally brought he's literally brought a lot of important people. And on top of that, he's brought Bill Clinton to those uh, to that uh, his island, his private island. They're all fucking kids. Uh, and so there. what's going on is like, yeah, like if you go back to like some of the stuff that Alex Jones is saying, it's like, oh, it's not so far fetched because this guy Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein, he's got shit on all of them. He's got shit on pretty much a lot of important people because of the shit they probably done in the island. It's like, oh, yep, I got you. So whenever I need a favor. You know, it's one of those things. Yeah. He's so like, whatever you don't want people not see you fucking this little girl. Mm-hmm. He's like, know. like, dude, <laughs> dude, like we saw know. you punt a baby in the soccer field. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, no, guys, you want me to release the video? Oh, yeah. Like, guys, come, come on. Yeah. We know each other. Bill, and, Bill. And, and Bill put a, <laughs> everyone knows Bill put a cigar and this chick's pussy. So imagine pussy. the video. What's on those videos? That he's like, you cannot show that. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot show that. <laughs> like, not show like, that. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> I already got so much shit like from my fucking a bunch of little up. boys and just putting arms inside. Dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like oh my, yeah. sounding them with his pinky, <laughs> weird yeah. shit. Like, sounding them with his pinky. <laughs> Sick. I, I feel like, I honestly, like, like Bill Clinton looks like a fucking dying alien, dude. You know, right? Like so many eyes. Right? Someone, right. someone needs He's to water that guy every month. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, He's like a fucking plant. <laughs> He's shooting the I'm fuck like, up. I'm like, I'm going to go to the Caribbean and I grab sunlight in my hands. And then when I see him, I'm just going to go like this. Just here, <laughs> sunlight. Sunlight. He's, he's like a fucking vitamin. He's going to fucking melt, bro. He's like, he's like, it's how vampires die. <laughs> the only color he has is that, like, that weird bruised blue color on his eyes. Yeah. And that's about it. 
It's from watching so much fucking porn. <laughs> <laughs> he's got hungry he's, eyes. He's got hungry eyes. It's definitely. That guy's fucking, uh, what is it? Is it? The guy's fucking insatiable, man. Like, yeah. He is, bro. And dude. everyone's just down with it. No one gives a fuck. Yeah, dude, you know what? Like, that's craziness. Because I, I, like, all right. I get that, like, a combined of, like, Beyonce and, like, Jay-Z are a billionaire, yeah. right? Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that if fucking Jay-Z did some shit like that, even being a billionaire, they'd be like, well... Like, come on, you gotta arrest this guy now. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, at the end of the day, he fucked black. a seventeen-year-old in New York, well, and she said yes. Well, well think about yeah. think about this. I mean, like R. Kelly, that's the same situation Bro, that's going on yo, with R. Kelly. Now he finally, when, when I heard he got in prison, I was like, oh, what's he gonna? Uh, because there's another video of him now, fucking right. Yeah. So I'm like, how's he gonna get out of this one? He's gonna wear a mask, but look, it's not me. I get out of free again. Dude, I can't believe some chick broke him out. That's the first one, out. right? Because yeah. it was the mask, and they couldn't prove that it was him. Yeah. You can clearly see it fucking is him. Dude, some chick broke him out of jail. She paid for him. She paid for his hundred k bail. Dude, yeah, it was some fan. So stupid. A hundred fucking a hundred k. She's just like to bail him out, and he daughter. went like straight to but McDonald's. He can bail himself out though. No, he can't. Didn't no? They, they froze no, up his they, assets. Yeah, or something dude, like dude, that. poor dude lost so much money over like the last like two years. I think just from like fucking well, like, shows when and... R. Kelly gets out of jail, we will see some more R. Kelly videos and Bro. fucking music. For sure. So be be ready for you that. You just can't listen to his new shit. His old shit is grandfathered in, so you can only listen to old shit. Yo, bro, because gotta... it's like you don't support the war, but you gotta support the troops, right? And those you gotta listen to it for the girls. Do you, you remember that day we went out? You remember that day we went out? We were at uh, Victor's Bar in the city, and someone put on um. They put what song was it? It was like. Girl, you wanna come to my home? And then, like, like there was like a whole table, like yeah. these freaking black girls that just yeah. flipped out. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, they were like, "Are you not. fucking kidding me? Did you not see the fucking like the, the interview?" Like, <laughs> like, no, I don't no, watch fucking. I was, weed. Di- I was dying, man. I thought that was hilarious. I was like sober that whole day, and I was like, I just couldn't get over it. That was, was like, terrible, dude. You know, so he had crazy. a hate crime happen to him, right? Or Kelly, Victor, Victor. No he way. Hate crime when he got jumped. Well, I call it a hate crime. Wait, is well Victor? Be. Yeah. What happened? Our friend Victor. Was I mean, he got jumped crime. on New Year's Eve, but I call it a hate crime. Why you call it a hate crime? He got fucking jumped. He got jumped Hardcore. by a soldier. Like, he got jumped by another Marine and a soldier. And then, like, plus, the guy was like, Plus, nah, I call it a hate not. crime. No, no. It's, it's You're not, taking it way too literal. Right. I don't mean an actual hate crime. I think it was I'm a hate crime because of what the guy it. said. The guy, oh, the guy, like, literally said some racist shit to him. What do you say? Like, when I saw his face, I was like, Oh, your hate crime is not noticeable anymore. Like, he told him, like, he was like, He was like, Yo, he's like, You're not welcome here. He's like, This is like, He's like, Can you make a country? Yeah, he was like, Can you? Even afford, he's like, can you even afford to be up here? Like what? that's what, that's like, what yeah. happened. Yeah, like you can ask Victor. Victor's like, like literally, Victor was outside smoking a cigarette. And you know, Victor. Victor's like, if Victor's feeling like shit's going a certain way, he's gonna tell you to your face. He'd be like, yo, my man, back up. Like that's literally word for word. What yeah, I'll but say. the person who told yeah, him that man. was kind of right about Victor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he probably couldn't. Yeah, he, can't, to go yeah, there. he can't afford to live there. So they were like, "Why are you there?" That's true. He can be there. What the fuck? <laughs> I said he was right in that Jesus. part, <clears throat> right in the part. Like you can't afford it, but you can be here. I think America, Carlos though. got like a, a, a shade lighter over here with that comment. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit! <laughs> oh man, but his light skin is showing through. I know, it's coming out. <laughs> dude. My Trumpness is coming out. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Dude. But yeah, when he told me about that, I was like, what? I saw his face. It's all fucking swollen. Yeah, it was, it was fucked up, bro. Like, yo, like they sucker punched him. And like, his, yo, he busted and it was his two Marines? Face. It was one Marine and one soldier. Yeah. So I've seen, I, it was I've a seen Marine. Marines done some, I mean, like, Marines, they have their background, you know, like, they come from like. Yeah. I, Just because a Marine don't mean you could be fucking no. be best friends with them. They're going to have brothers. Like, like yo, me true. personally, like, I believe that racism has, has decreased dr- dramatically. But there's still signs of it. Like, yeah, there's still, of course. There's, oh, obviously, there's that's, no slavery. There's, that's there's like, no slavery. Oh, that's the big thing right. That and I think it, that people, know? I think that people have a right to, um, you know, bring slavery up. But in context, not all the time. You know, yeah. in context. And so, and also, don't victimize yourself. Like, I don't, I don't believe people should victimize themselves. I believe that people should pick themselves up and move on and. And people and, do that a lot, you know. You but know, also, when I was working security, people always try to use that race car. Mm-hmm. I was in security for us for a mall like a few years ago, fucking um, not a mall for a Zara store, and fucking I guess this lady thought I was staring at her, but I wasn't. I was just looking off in the distance. Yeah. And then one of the other girls comes. She goes, "Hey, that good lady wants to you know if you can stop staring at her." I was like, "Who? <clears throat> it was some fat old gross bitch." I mean, she yeah. wasn't old, but she yeah. was definitely gross. <laughs> And, um, You're like, let me add old in there to add it to effect. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, you've been... You know, I was like, man, I just want you to know. I walked to her. I was like, man, I was like, no, I wasn't staring at all. I was just fucking walking around because I got nothing to do. 
Mm-hmm. And I got to pretend to secure the area. And she was like, why are you looking at me? I'm a, she's like, I'm secure. I'm a security guard, too. You probably just look at me because I'm here and I'm, I'm the only black girl here. I was like, whoa, what the fuck are you talking about? Always throwing race cards in. Always, always a race card. I was like, what the fuck is this bitch? Talking? I was like, did you not hear the part where I said I wasn't staring at you? I was like, yeah. first of all, look at all these hot Europeans here. You're fucking gross, lady. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> it's just that, like, um, people who, who have that mindset that they're victims for a very long time, they're going to, like... Your mind is the only thing that really exists. And so that you perceive that as your reality, it will become your reality. Like, you will act upon yeah. it. And this is true. It's and true. it's just like it, that Jesse Smollett thing. Like, he, like a lot of people like, like that, like they're victims, like they're victimized. They, for a long time, have, have had that in their mind, like simmer in their mind for a long, long time that they're victims. And then it manifests and it becomes reality. They try to make it into a reality. Yeah. Well, you know, so, it's so not true. I honestly feel like sometimes people are victims. And like, honestly, like I know I've been a victim to racism, but I don't bring that shit up. I'm like, I get it. Like if you're racist, fuck it. I guess it's where we live. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I, I'm not like walking around and be, because I'm Latino and this, this, and that. Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, you know what I mean? Because yeah, there, there's also like, like there's there's also like um like we we have our privileges as well if that makes sense like of course, course. I live in a being, fucking first world country like, son no no but I mean being Latino and like being like when you're black you know what I mean you have there's certain privileges that you do have you know what I mean as well I, mean, I definitely do because I am super light skinned yeah so I have I have you're a little the bit skin person in oh, here so you got more privilege yeah there's there's times when I, like, I have a little when, bit of privilege I'll be hanging out with Roz and yo Roz gets Roz gets like nervous you know sometimes because yeah. he's like yo he's like there's like he's 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 been like pushed up by like a lot of like I guess. Like minorities, and I'm not talking about like just black or brown. I'm talking about Asians. Like people just for some reason they see Fuck Roz and they're like, "This guy's a victim." So like, look at this. Like, <laughs> this guy's a, he's a her. This guy's a, like, not a not a her, but they're like, you know, you can tell he's like, a, he's, like he's not he a fighter. Is, and I'm not saying he is a her. They're probably looking at him and go, "Look at this herb." Yeah, yeah, you know but like, mean? yeah, not not like in the sense like, oh, he's I, like he's a nerd, but it's more like, oh, like this guy looks like he's a soft. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. You look, a you herb. Looks, yeah, I guess. Okay, yeah. so he's a, he's a soft <laughs> herb, not like a, not like a like a douchey herb. Okay, no, a herb, a fucking yeah, like a soft herb. You soft ass bitch. Yeah, like. Like a like a fresh donut. You soft. <laughs> soft, baby. You soft as soggy noodles, baby. <laughs> You're soft. You like, softer than the middle of a pop tie. But, but like, you know, this, this, t- this times we'll be like at a bar and like, yo, fucking, we'll be, you know, we go into the bar and we'll be like, oh my god, we'll be like these three black guys don't want to move. And I'm like, hold on. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? You, you mind if I get a drink? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, Roz, use your fucking man voice. <laughs> Show some color, bitch. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> No, but it's true. Like we got privilege too. I'm not saying we don't. Like oh, it's, it's sure. not. It's obviously not to their extent. You know what I mean. We're not over here like getting Fortune yeah. 500 jobs. Fucking yeah. win. You know what I mean. But like you know, yeah. But like I mean, there's times when it comes in handy. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? a little bit here and there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yo, but talking about food. Uh, when was it? I think it was Wednesday. No, Monday. I finally went to Korean barbecue. Yo, Korean barbecue is expensive. <clears throat> is it? That's where you took your your uh, new uh, girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. So you say. She's not. I didn't go with her. I just went, I went with some friends. Yo, it came out to like 400 and something dollars. For what? Like, for like eight people. Whoa. Well, you treated people, everybody? Though. Yeah, that's, that's like $50 like, a head, I guess. $50 that's... a head. It's not expensive. I meant the, the bill was expensive because a lot of people. That's eight people, bro. That's not. Wait, but not you, everybody. But like. You paid 400 for everybody? No, 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 no. I was about to say. That's not expensive. I mean, I was that was people? expensive because really. I was going to be like. For, the, the, food, for the amount of food that we ate, it was expensive. How much? What'd you? What'd you get? What was? The, what the menu say? So, what was it for? Did uh, you guys like decide entree? to split it between the four of you? Because I hate that shit too. So we had to because like, it was only they. They only take four cards, so we're like everyone pay whoever they need to pay. Oh shit. no, no, but I mean, like you know, some sometimes you go out with people, right? And like you know, like it's like all right for us for the most part, we always get something that's around the same price range. If yeah. that makes sense, you know what I mean? Oh no, we all got the same price range. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We all that's picked a premium selection, and we'll. And here's the thing with Korean barbecue: we weren't paying attention. Whatever you don't eat. You pay for, and it's a seven course meal. Yo, Koreans eat a lot of fucking food. We only we, we only courses? got through we only got through two courses. We're like, what? I'm full as fuck. Wait, seven courses. Seven courses. Seven courses. You're saying that they're the Italians now, of Asia, dude? There there is seven courses. <laughs> is this a barbecue? buffet? No, it's, I don't it's get a it. Korean barbecue. They bring the meat, you put it on the fucking grill. There's seven courses that that, that oh, we. Oh, I have been to oh, Korean barbecue. Shit. I know. Exactly. So, I had a, like I like I don't know why I blanked that. Yo, I was oh. like I was like Dog, we only made it we only made it through, Dude. I think three. Great. Yeah, was it's that, fucking good food it's though. Fucking Yo, when oh, I told you I ate good, I fucking ate good. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Dude. So you still got to pay for the seven courses though. Yeah. You still have to pay for the union. You still, have to but you gotta you gotta cook your own food. But that's, yeah, that's but the good, good thing though. about that is you get to you get to see how well done you want it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it was good, cool. And if whatever, and if you don't want to, the the waiters come for the go. They'll cook for you if you don't want to do we it. We should do that as a bros trip. That would be cool. 
Korean barbecue? Yeah, Korean barbecue. Let's, hey, let's gather eight people. No, I don't know about all that. That's too <laughs> but many. But let's not do the no, We already know the no, price. You know what it is? Let's just not do the premium. I think that's what it is. Yeah, no, no the premium. was super expensive. Super I want to do a happy hour. <laughs> like a fucking yeah, group. I mean, we pick the regular deal. price, get regular fucking meats. Yeah, you know what I mean? Let's go, let's, fucking New York Let's go Groupon. Let's get, let's get the, you yeah, know, they're like, like the, oh, yeah. the, the premium with the fucking 45% <laughs> off because it's a Wednesday, you know, of the third month of the year. And let's go on Veterans Day. Yeah, Veterans Day. Discounts everywhere. But Koreans might not like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got to go on like on a Korean day. They're going to be like, we remember Chosen Reservoir, right. dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we got jokes well, now. But again, you got damn right, you do not go, go back there and put something on this grill. <laughs> <laughs> we were the victims in that one. <laughs> Chosen Reservoir. Oh, man. Funny. Yeah. yeah, so that shit, it was fucking expensive, but it was good. But we only made it through two courses, like two or three courses, and I was like, yo, that's it. Damn. The sake, yo, delicious. They oh, drink sake man. in Korea? Yeah. Is that, oh, okay. Sake, the sake was good. I feel like all Asians drink sake, no? True. They just I, like, they I don't do. know. I don't know if Chinese I don't know. drink sake. They, well, they call it rice wine. Rice wine? Yeah, they yeah, just rice call it rice wine. wine. That's yeah. sake. But they don't call it sake. They just call it rice wine. There's different yeah. names. There's yeah. plum wine, rice wine. Yeah, that's wine. like plum wine is the... Pl- that, that's the one I had. I had the plum one. Mm. That one is really fucking good. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know why Latinos didn't know how to make fucking sake. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? Like, we eat mad rice. We eat mad rice. We just, yeah. we just uh, made rum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like sugar cane. We're like, hey, guys, diabetes is around the block. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love high cholesterol. Let's get it. <laughs> like, every, like, we're like, we're like, yo, like, this shit's got a lot of sugar. Like, cool. Like, what is it? It's a planting. Like, cool. Let's fry it. <laughs> like, uh, let's double down. Let's, let's double let's down fry heart it, Get an egg. Fry it. Get this ham. Fry it. Let's fry everything. Throw rice on there. Fry it. Fry it all. <laughs> Like, oh, dude, you want to make that really hard? You put potatoes in the rice. <laughs> like, okay. Now add a little bit of meat. Let's see what happens. <laughs> like, I know. It's so bad. <laughs> in Ecuador, they like they make like this thing. Um, it's You guys ever had like corn nuts? They put corn nuts in like some of the salads. That's and it's pretty just, like, good, though. Yeah, it's good, but it's like fried corn nuts. Yeah, it's, it's like weird. deep fried corn nuts. Like- and I'm like... I'm gonna get that salad for a reason. It's supposed yeah. to be healthy. Like, you get the fucking a crunch out of nowhere. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try that corn. That or fries. I'm gonna try that maize thing you got us. Yo, it was good, man. Yeah, it looks. It's good. really good. I would. I, I normally don't put sauce on it. Some people do. I have a hot sauce in there, but like it's. It tastes good the way it is. It's like it's very very sweet. I tried that way, then I tried again with like hot sauce or something. Definitely. The the saltier it's, ones taste better with like hot sauce. Yeah. Just because it's like when you eat the salty ones, it tastes a little bit. Even with salt, it tastes like either super salty or bland. There's like no in the middle. Or you're just like eating corn. You're like, huh, it's corn and cheese. This is great. Like, you know, it's like, it doesn't taste special, but the sweet one tastes good. Talking about tasting good, or I don't know how I'm going to make this transition, but it's going to happen. So I, I started watching a weird anime last night. I only got to like episode 10. And I was like, I'm not going to keep watching this. But it's called Citrus. Dude, it's fucking weird. All it is is a, it's about a high school girl moving, when her and her mother moving. Uh, with their with her her new family, which is her stepdad and her her and her sister in law. This already sounds like Hantai. dude. Yeah, it might as well be. It's mm. like so. It's like Cinemax, yes. and it's anime, but Cinemax. Oh yeah. shit! You wait. You mean Skinemax? <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. yeah, dude. It's fucking Cinemax after dark. It's so fucking weird. All of this is her. I guess she likes. Like she just gets all hot and bothered. And now, like, it's weird. Like, okay, here's what's weird about the anime. The anime, the anime makes it seem that if you have, if that girls in Japan, if they're really close to their friend, then they call each other sisters, and then they only make out. Like, everyone else in the anime is straight, and only teenage girls in this all-girls school are just fucking just scissoring and just making well, out. Well, sounds I, like an I awesome feel like, anime. I, I feel like, yeah. I was going to say, I was like, <laughs> I was like I they're not like, showing the scissoring and making out part, but they show like, oh, no, they show a little bit of it. They I'll don't show the back. scissoring. I would like to see that. I would like they to don't see show that. scissoring. It's it's on Crunchyroll. It, they don't show any scissoring. It's not hentai, but it's, it's yeah. like soft core hentai. I want to be honest with you. You know like, what I mean? They show them making out. Their knees are always hot. red. I'm like, what the fuck is what going on? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> What's like, why are her knees always red? Probably just praying all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that must be it. You solved it. Hello, Kitty. I love you. It's so fucking weird, son. I was like, I only got to 10 episodes. I was like, they're not going to show me what I really want to see, so I'm not going to watch that- this. <clears throat> And what I really wanted to see was just them to scissor. But that's like a huge thing, like girl animes like that. That's like huge in Japan, bro. Yeah. Like no more anime for them. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? 
That's weird as fuck. fuck. That's what I should have gotten coffee, and I'm hungry as fuck. Too. I'm hungry too, bro. I didn't get this is no a bad food. time to start a fucking podcast. Yeah, I mean, we can always just pause and go get some food and come back. Let's not pause. This. I actually brought some going. food. I feel like this is good. I mean, it is yeah. good, but it's good. Hungry. I don't want to stop now. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think hungry, hungry gives you more energy. Actually, it makes hungry? you hungry. You make hunger know. gives you more energy. Being hungry. Being hungry gives you know, Every time energy. you start supporting Trump, your grammar was going down. No, <laughs> my grammar has never been up in the first place, bro. So first of all, <laughs> get that shit together. It definitely was at one point. It, it was getting up what? there. And then it, it was getting better. Yeah, it just, when was this? It's stagnant. It's just when not was moving. this? Which time of my life my English has gotten better? Whenever you started pronouncing Panther right. Panther. And see, and now it's gone. <laughs> that, that, that was right. One whole right? day. Fuck. <laughs> No, I man. Get it. I, I feel like you have pretty good, pretty good grammar sometimes. No, you know, for the most, no. I think I think the like the drunker you get, you get any more drugs in that pipe. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I was gonna light it. You want you want you want to hit first? Dude. Sure. You want to pass this to? I might call this dude to come over. Who's that? Give me some uh, some drugs of my own. Who? <clears throat> Lino? No, not Lino. The oh, I know who you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, the connect. Yeah, yeah connect. That is his name. His name is Connect. Um, there's a. <laughs> That's his alias. No, but yeah, definitely, man. His name is from Connect and he's from the land Canuck. Canucks. I heard people pronounce Connecticut. Uh, is that a real place? Connected? Is that a real place? Connected? Is that? Yeah, is that? Connected is a real place. I thought, you know, I always thought that was. I think you mixed them up because you just said it's connected. It, so I, think I don't know. I like, always thought, like, I heard people say, oh, I'm from Connected. I'm like, where is that? Is that Connecticut? Are you talking about, are you saying, are you trying to say Connecticut? No, it's Connected. Is that a real place? That's a real place. <clears throat> Hold on, let me just Google it because I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> it's such a weird name. I didn't know it was a real place just now. You didn't know either? <laughs> no. I th- I always thought I never heard I always of it. thought they were just mispronouncing <laughs> it or mis like saying it and just like say say Connecticut and it's not I never heard of that shit. <clears throat> Yo, yeah, so let me tell you guys. So yesterday I went to the comedy cellar. I loved it. I want to perform there. I really like the comedy cellar vibe. Like a lot. Yeah, a do it, bro. Lot. But <clears throat> yo, like no one I'm sort of there's a lot of people that live in New York are not from New York at all People yeah. that live Of course Like we were there And he was like We're on the hands Who was from New York It was like me And like the two cooks <laughs> You know what I mean <laughs> Everybody was like Nope <clears throat> no, was Dude like, wow. every, like This whole fucking Injustification Is uh, like Misplacing people Putting dude, them it's, it's what it is Dude you know Everybody's like They've been here for like Three years They're like I'm technically I'm from New York Cause no. I've, I've killed a roach And oh. I ate pizza In the subway And I saw a homeless guy Masturbate on my shoes Like That doesn't make you From New York That makes you Like any other tourist What are the qualifications right. What are the qualifications to, to really be a New Yorker Get arrested <laughs> like, no, I, don't I don't think know. it's get arrested <laughs> Cause I have not gotten arrested I have not All gotten right. arrested You guys aren't really From New York <laughs> <laughs> No, like you got, I, honestly, I think you got to live here for like. Uh, I say ten years. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Ten, ten years, years. Ten years. You got to see and a change. You gotta fucking go through it. Son. No, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think a cop has to like once. Like, I think the what makes you a New Yorker is like once you're trying to walk home in like a cold weather and you have your hoodie on and a cop tries to stop. He's like, "Hey, where you going, little princess? Where you going? Where you going?" That's never happened. It's never they've, happened. They've never called me princess. Yeah, they always like. They're like, hey. Psh. Like a hop less English, and I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> we should figure out what constitutes like what. I say, I, I think it's a, I think he's I right. I say ten years, ten years, ten years, and you have to have you have to develop the the New York attitude. Like my attitude, the give no fuck. people. No, yeah. no, it's changed. Whereas before, like when I first moved, when I first moved back to New York, I was fucking super not a New Yorker anymore. Like I talk to random people, I say hi, I opened up doors. Now. I don't fucking do none of that. You know, nah, like, I, when I first got here, that. I used to fucking, you know, I used to fucking take people's, I mean, I still do it. Baby carriages, bad. yeah. But before, for a while, I was like, oh, let me fucking walk a little nah. bit slower. Like, more people go ahead and do that. It, it's, so that I can just bypass. This is, this, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you brought that up. Because this is what I think it would be, right? I don't think it's that, like, we don't help people, or like, that or, we don't want or, to. Or, or if someone gets hurt, and they cause train traffic, you're more upset because you're going to be late. Here we go. Yeah, Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Okay. That's that. There it is. Yeah. 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 When something happens with the train and someone gets hurt and you're more upset that you're going to be late instead of like, sure. oh my God, someone got hurt. I, like, like, that's true. That, that constantly like, New Yorker. Like, Put that one on the list. Like to, to add on to your thing is that the one that you were saying before. Yeah. Is that I think it's like, it's not that like you don't want to help anybody. It's that you don't want to help anybody that you feel like can't help themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Because like, why is. the fuck like, do you have that? You know the struggle. You're fucking sub. Come on, man. It's like, you know the struggle. So you're like, like, no, I'm like, as a real New Yorker, like, I'm in my own struggle. You're in your own struggle. 
struggle. Yes. And I'm gonna help you if you can't get help, but I'm not gonna like help you out if you're just being a bitch about exactly. shit. Yeah, if you're being a fucking you're bitch. Being, I'm yeah, gonna drop bitch. your fucking crib right this this fucking I'm gonna drop this baby down the stairs yeah. and give me shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah, like that. Like like if somebody's like trying to go over like and they have like a crib or like like you said, a carriage and they're yeah. like they're like, oh, like, what, what do I do? Like, and you're just like looking at them, like, like there's an elevator next to you, so I'm not gonna like help you out. Like, don't, yeah. don't be stupid. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? I'm like, not doing that. just push the button. Like, you know what I mean? It's not that serious. Like, train's not even down there, yo. I'm just yeah, saying. Don't be stupid, stupid. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's like, it's like a lot of things. And even then, it's like, um, all right. What, what, what are the other, also? What are the I think, think I think a good one is, and I might sound a little racist for this, but wow. I don't give no fucks. You you know you're New Yorker when you see um when you see a Jewish person. Looking around in your neighborhood because you know he's gonna try to buy, pop, buy yeah, no, property. That's true. You know he's gonna try to buy it. property. He's gonna ask, you know comes, the rent's if gonna. You see, if you see a Jew asking who the owner of the house is, you're like, exactly. oh, oh shit. fuck, rent's going up. Yep, rent's, rent's about going to go up. up. Milk is gonna go up five dollars in a few <laughs> weeks. This is great. I can't wait. <laughs> That's how you know you're New York. Yep, that's how you know. Yeah, because because when they ask, that's when the Latino bodega owners move out, and yep. then the deli, the, the 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 Middle Eastern deli owners move in. All right, and like, and then like that's that's when you know shit's changing because yeah. yeah. they stop selling like fucking you know that you know how like when you go to like a, a bodega they go from bodegas to delis yeah they go from <laughs> bodega and then the thing is the menu changes like you know what I mean because like you know how they'll have like oh tienen tienen como pernil maybe yeah. some, some some moro or yeah, something yeah. and maduros they start adding lunch. little shit then, taking shit off yeah you look up and you're like halal yeah like, you're like also hey, right halal I got rice a, I got yeah. a fuck I got one Ma'am? I got one you know what constitute <laughs> what makes a New Yorker what if you have an account open with the bodega like if you. Yeah, like if, like if you know, like you, you like, yo, food. You at the end, end of the week, the store. Yep. give yeah. me another week, I get paid, and I'll yeah. pay you back. He's, he's a local. Yeah, he's, he's a local. If yeah. you if you have an account with a bodega, you are a fucking New Yorker. That's true. Yeah. So write this shit down. Yuppies You hear that you fucking Chads and fucking <laughs> Yo, Greg's n- n- Not even that I think you're also a New Yorker Once you know how to Commute around the entire Five boroughs If you're like That's I gotta true. get there Yeah And you know how it's to true. do it Yeah and or, or, yeah, but, or if you go somewhere You've never been there Like like say you're going to you Like oh I'm gonna meet you On this this and this street A fucking east Whatever whatever I'll meet you yeah. in the Bronx But you've never been to the Bronx But you're like well, I know how to get there. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know I'm the direction. Train. No, because a, a lot of people. Because a lot of people are smart. Yeah. They like. They figure a lot of smart people out there. They figure shit out, especially maps. It's like that's not a. But no, you know, no, it's so general. Some people, though. Get, no, some people get scared of traveling like from they fucking really area do. to area. Yeah, yeah like that's so true. I understand when that. When they move here, like let's say they live in like fucking like upper east, upper east side. Yeah. You know, like like above like the rich part area where it's just like yeah. just becoming gentrified. Yeah, it is. Like you know what I mean? You're like, oh, come to Brooklyn. They're like, but yo, that's deep, and like I don't know how to what train and like should I Uber? When I say that, I'm like, yo. Motherfucker, you yeah. have a smartphone. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? You know what's going on. And just press transit, stupid. Press transit. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know that was an option. I just it, like. It, I, 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 no, I don't understand why people don't know that's an I option. Use, I use my MTA map. I just like Google MTA map and I'm like, you're like, oh, the, third, you're like the third person that said that he was. I'm like, I just, just press use the transit. Map. I just use the map. Yeah, yeah maps. I use the map. Press yeah. transit. I don't, and I, like, oh, oh, you mean when you move it over and the thing? Is that what. Do you know how like. No, it says walk, drive. Yeah, okay. It says transit. I didn't know it said transit. I, su- I hit that <laughs> <laughs> But like, I like going to the MTA map Because I like counting my stops If that makes sense yeah, You know what I, I mean I go to the, I, it'll, it'll, I it'll, it'll, show you, it'll show you your yeah, stops you on it too Same shit No yeah but sometimes I don't trust that thing though. You know what yeah, I mean Because then I I'm like it. Because cause it like like it, Let's say I have to get somewhere Yeah Right And it'll be like It'll drop me It'll be like Oh you can you can be on like 50 like 8th an eighth, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I got to, I got to get to like seventh or some shit. Mm-hmm. Like I'll look at that, you know what I mean? Because it'll be like, oh, this train is faster. But I'm like, you know, I don't mind waiting on the R train. Yeah, but that it gives you selections. Switching. That's what I like about it. It'll give you, it'll give you different routes. Okay. You, if you want to fucking wait that way, I'm pretty sure that's a selection you can pick too. Can I, can I be honest? Like with for you? me, every, but like what I used to do when I had to figure out the easiest way for me, like comfortably wise, if I take the J, the, the, it's it's quicker for me to get here if I take the five and then transfer to the J. But it's mad fucking walking I got to do when I get off the J. Yeah. So I just take the two. That's on the list, by the way. That should be on the list. What? You know you're from New York when you hate taking the subway because no one that's from New York likes taking a subway. I fucking hate taking. Wait, subway. who likes taking a subway? People, people have said like people, people who have people have said like there's some people like oh, I like taking subway. Like, no, you don't like it, you don't mind it. There's yeah. a difference. You, you have no choice. Mind. I don't have no choice. choice. You have no choice. I fucking so you, hate the subway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right now your cup is half full, even though we know there's only four droplets of water in there. No, I fucking hate breathing. Every time I breathe in there, I'm like, yo, I'm breathing. I don't know. A bunch of homeless fucking stenches. I would say you know. I would say this. Rat a. 
Exactly. Oh my God. I think I, think I will sum it up this come. way. I will oh. sum it up this way. <laughs> to your thing, I will say, you know, you're a New Yorker when you hate paying for subway uh, uh, yeah. fare. I hate because it. Because you, you know, fucking going up minute, and it's still worse. Because you it's know, not, like, the broken. subway isn't worth the $3. It's not. Yeah. It's not worth it. It's so shitty and it doesn't come on time. And it's, it used to be really fucking dirty. Now it's a lot cleaner, obviously. It is a lot But it's a lot cleaner. But, like, damn, son, like, if you know well, New no, York, when you I, I will the notice fare. this. They are, they're a little bit more on time now. Yeah. But it's either. They're getting they, better. It's yeah. either it's either they're really early or they're on time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about early. It happens in the morning. It's happened with the J. Hmm. It used to be mad. There was a, the 740 train used to always come at 730. I'm like, why don't they fucking correct this? <clears throat> And just make a 7.30 Seven, fucking yeah. thing instead of 7.40. Yeah. Maybe that's not the early train. Maybe that's the late train. Huh? Could be. I don't know. Could be. You never know. But yeah, fuck that. I hate I hate breathing under there. I hate the, I hate <laughs> when people take food down there, I'm like, yo, don't. That's fucking gross. I think it's you gross know? when people eat down there. Don't I think it's saying? disgusting. I think when it's people like, eat on trains, that yeah. is mm-hmm. that disgusts me. Yeah. I would have punched mm-hmm. you in the fucking mouth. Yeah, if you're like, I, I feel like. I've I've eaten down there, but it's been like something like an M and M. It's like in a bag. I pour it out and just shoot it in my mouth yeah. real quick. But even then, it's, I'm like super hesitant like, of doing this. I'm like, yo, there's so many pathogens. The fucking yeah, you see you eating like, this, a, this, like a slice this, of pizza. That's gross. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, that is like, disgusting. Or like, a, or like a tray of food. I'm like, yo, I'm like, there's because you I'm know like, yo, somebody you're gonna just get coughed. Mad. Somebody, yeah, where's it going? Somebody, somebody just coughed in there. Like you know, and it doesn't even matter. It's like <laughs> like on on every stop, someone coughs. It yeah. could be three of you in there. Yeah, not everyone washes their hands. Everyone holds those poles. Homeless people sleeping all. Homeless people sleep in all the trains. Exactly, smell, bro. Right? This is nice. so bad. So they're they're always dirty. I hate the smell of subway. That's why sometimes now. Oh, you know what the fuck I hate the most? What? You know it was like 20 fucking degrees outside and the subways be blasting that AC. Yo, fuck that should be assholes, annoying the bro. dicks out of me. I'm like, bro, like why is this AC blasting in my face? Like, damn. Or be fucking the dead of winter and they got to they gotta stop at a station and they leave the doors open. Oh, and it's yeah. an open. I'm like, hey, you motherfucker. We're outside. <laughs> Close the fucking doors if we're going to be here, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah right? <laughs> like, open up that little back one that you guys always do. Like, anyways, yeah, but and, when you're pointing at the stupid fucking yeah, thing then like open it for like 10 seconds right before you dip now <laughs> all right now we got to say a lot of a lot of good things about new york we said a lot of shit whole shit about new york i mean listen i no, say i'm not done with the shit whole shit though i'm not done with the shit whole shit either bro like i'm not done with that yeah like i i, I honestly hate like people that like when you're when you're like looking at something and they just stand right in front of you like yo you know everybody's looking at it but like yeah, you're like, look up prick. around like everyone else stupid stop looking at me exactly <laughs> also cabbies yo Cabins, like I don't like ca- like mind your fucking business. I'm not paying you to Here's one thing I don't do anymore though. Even if there's a fucking seat, I don't sit down on trains anymore. You don't? I saw so many roaches. I don't take trains on different train seats. I saw one climb on a seat and get on my bag ones, and I was like, nope, no more. No, like that. <laughs> Never since then I stand up on all trains. I don't give a fuck. How tired you are? No, I don't give a shit. I will not. I'm not. That shit, because what if it gets in your coat? You, we wearing those thick ass coats. You're not gonna feel that thing, and it gets one of those true. fucking crevices, the crevasses. You take that shit home. I also hate rats. Fuck rats. Fuck rats. Fuck rats. I fucking hate them. One time, I Fuck shit pigeons. This is, this is a true story. I was I was walking around the block, and I saw a rat eating another rat, and it was like a big rat eating like a fucking. It was a dead baby rat. It was just Damn, eating. That is gross. And I was like, we got cannibal rats in the city. This is roaches this is do that shit, man. They be eating each other. Yeah, they're Damn. fucking gross too. Cannibals. Yo, fuck. I don't give a fuck. What else do we hate? <laughs> I don't know. Now Everything we, else is good. It's just that. No, I hate that. I, I hate, hate that there's too many. Everybody's always in the fucking way. Yeah. I hate tourists that come here. Yeah. The, because they're always like in the fucking November, way. November. November to, to like February. Yes, is like the, the February worst is the time. worst time. It's the worst time in the city. In the city. I hate kids. It's yeah. Terrible. I hate, I hate they're kids. always in fucking taking pictures dead in the middle of the fucking yeah. sidewalk. They yeah. do. And then and then like and then the thing is that they just stand there with fuck like if they got a map I'm like would you get a yeah. map would like, you get a map you're good. take out your you, fucking phone would you, would you like but who has maps now like who's a, you what, got a fucking phone man what, take out your fucking phone but what map seller is just like walking yeah, around who's walking around handing out having maps these still. fucking maps <laughs> that's an exclusive job like only like he only, monopolized on it there's an exclusive yeah. job that from what I see in the city 
only fucking Africans and Haitians be doing because they always got the selling bus, bus tour map, dudes. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, you yeah, take bus. this bus. And yeah. Here's his map. Yo, believe it or not, those Africans <laughs> who be selling those purses in Canal, they be making they, dough. They be making dough. But the crazy thing is, outside New York, like un- understand, women fucking all they want to do is go to Canal Street and, and get those purses. Yeah, I'm dude, sure. That's a fucking huge thing. Like, I'm sure. Like women outside New York, they're like, all I want to do is go to Canal Street yeah, and get purses. Because like, like, I can get fucking, I can get it, cheap. Yeah, it looks real. Yeah, it it looks no real. one would know. Back home, no one would yeah, know. No one will know. They it's just think it's real. Yeah, I got it in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, we got it in. So, but I went to the city. A, I got it. And it's it's Canal a, Street. You know what I mean? Like, look, look at all these stores. You know, come up with the craziest lines too. They're like, oh, there was a fucking fire sale in fucking Fifth Avenue. Yeah, right. It was great. They were giving it away for free. That's where I got this Rolex. It's yeah. chipping the Rolox. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I, I also don't like Canal Street at all. I don't. Like, yeah. There's nothing. Like, Everything's always. Everyone looks suspicious as fuck on Canal Street. Yeah, I don't like how all the Asian guys have longer nails than the women. In the <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, why do you look like a fucking sorcerer from fucking Big Trouble in Little China? <laughs> like, this is crazy. I feel like those type of people have an underground club and everyone in there is playing Russian roulette. All of them. All of them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> and there's a bunch of just naked, naked like, fucking uh, European women just walking around getting fingered. <laughs> it's like, it's like, but it's like Russian roulette's like the consequence for like deadly mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like fucking nuts. Dude, <laughs> fucking, they're, they're fucking po- they're poker. They're just selling people. <laughs> Instead of money They're just putting people Fucking lives Like yeah, yeah. So Two of these bitches Yeah They're like I'll give you these two Fucking waitresses For three of your little Dishwashers uh, Yeah <laughs> And the guy He's like Well one of my dishwashers Has fucking three hands <laughs> He's like He's like fuck He's like I'll give you the girl With the three tits <laughs> like, It's gotta be an even Asian trade <laughs> Like but that's it. I think that's the only bad thing about New York. Everything else, I love. I mean, yeah. I took the good with the bad, you know? Yeah, I mean... No, yeah, no, I'd rather toughen you the shit. fuck up, man. Yeah, I toughen the fuck up. Tough, yeah, it you, toughens you the fuck up it, living here. Dude, you... Like, ew, you, like you, I feel bad. You don't bad. have a choice, bro. I have a friend, I have a friend right now. That's true. You I don't. A, <laughs> like, I have a friend right now, and um, I'm not going to say his name, uh-huh. but he's very privileged. He's very rich, and he pretty much never had to work a day in his life until rich. his father yeah. cut him off completely. Like, completely cut him off. Yeah. And now he's like trying to go to the news and trying to like just pretty much kind of blackmail his father. He's like, I'll give information about you if you don't give me money. What the fuck? And you know, because well, first of all, like this this guy's never developed a skill in his. He's never developed a skill. Like if I need a job, I, I can go to any of my friends. Yo, your, your, is your job hiring? Can you yeah. hook me up? And I can get hooked up all the time. But for a guy like that, like he's never even tried to even. Consider getting a job. I so, mean, but also it's 2019, bro. Just start playing video yeah. games and record it, and see what the yeah. fuck happens. Stupid. Yeah, but you gotta have a personality f- to to even. You know, people watch people play video games. Yeah, bro. true. Dude, those guys have personalities. I do watch. I, 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 I fucking do. I started doing that now. There was yeah. like that weird kid who became like mad famous, and his brother made him famous because he was like, my brother's such a dipshit, like a privileged dipshit. That he started recording him. And like John Lee goes on about him, he made like a spoof of it. Remember the kid was like freaking out because his mom wouldn't like buy him a video game. Yeah. Oh, he tried to put a controller up his he ass. A controller up his yeah, ass. Yeah, I remember that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then he's like, he's always like, ow, <laughs> like mom, don't. Like he's just like a weird ass kid. But what I would say, back to my point, like yeah, you gotta if you're new, if you're a real New Yorker, you gotta know how to survive here, it's no true. matter what circumstance you're it's in. True. Like it's you gotta be able kids. if you get you cut have off, to go to the struggle. You got yeah. if you if you, you, you if you get cut off, like you know what to do exactly. Like yeah. you know how much bologna is gonna last you the whole you know, week. No, you just know you're like, like yo, you know how much ramen. This is gonna last me. This this this. Yeah, I gotta eat this. Sometimes you gotta it's work it. as a street you gotta, pharmacist. You gotta, sometimes yeah, you know what to <laughs> you do. do. Sometimes you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> sometimes 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 you gotta be a messenger. Exactly. I would not live anywhere else. Sometimes you and your friend gotta go shake somebody. It's gotta be for me right now. Honestly, it's gotta be here or California. I love, California, yeah, I, I California. love California. I heard a lot of good things about California. Bro, so say, beautiful. But LA man. is my. F- I call. I call that shit my second yeah. home now. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I like. I always like San Diego more oh, just because it's man. closer to the water. Like it's yeah, like, dude, like life right off the beach. I, bro. Like, I went to LA. I, left, I, left, I fell in love. By LA, bro. I'm like, yeah. mm. oh, that time I was like, yo, I was like, yo, you fucking migrated to the wrong fucking coast. Yeah. <laughs> Should have came you here. You, you know, you know why yeah, though? Because I they have, they have cool shit next to their beaches. Like by our so beaches, I, there's my, parking lots and highways and, and green water and <laughs> green water. When my parents yeah. first came. When my parents Whack. first came to the United States, <laughs> they have shitty beaches. They lived in California in LA for like five years, they and they ran there, from bro. LA. They just like they couldn't do it because back then in the '80s, oh yeah, LA was 90s, terrible. LA was fucking the worst. It was the worst. Worst, Yo, and Chris they came to New York. Yo, right? 
<laughs> but like the, the KKK New York was up. not as the New York wasn't as yeah. good either. New York wasn't good either. It was absolutely, absolutely it was not. Terrible. It was fucking terrible. It was just as terrible. But the yeah. problem with them is that my crack. parents when they first came here, yeah. um, the competition was a lot fierce for jobs because yeah. there was a lot of. Uh, Mexicans and so my parents are immigrants too so they're like we, we we can't compete with Mexicans they you know like everyone here is Mexican and you know they hire within themselves which is true yeah. I give a fuck what you say everyone it's does true. that yeah, really, everyone does that but I'm saying that Mexican like they it's, a, it's like a community and yeah, so like they my parents for each other yeah it's true but my parents home. isn't my parents aren't Mexican so it's like there, there was no hope for them to be there so they kind of came true back that. to New York Yo, me and Mark me and Mark got let go from a job because of that. Yeah, I, I shit you not. They were like paying everybody like ten dollars an hour plus tip, and we were taking it. We were working, and then they were like, "Oh, we got two other guys, so you, we're gonna let you guys go." Dang. And we got let go, and it was the Mexican, the, like the head, the head bus back. Uh, what is it? Yeah, bus boy. It was his two nephews. You called them a bus back? Yeah, bus <laughs> back. <laughs> Let's go, bus back, <laughs> bus back, cow, <laughs> bus back. But it was like it was it his happens, two, it was man. his two it's nephews. A, it's a true thing, bro. Yeah, like they, if you, yeah. I don't. Yeah, low skill, wa- low skill wages. Uh, main go lower or maintain because the competition for low skill wages is way high. So there's more. People, it really is. There's way more people in this planet with low skills than there is with people with high skills. So those jobs yeah. will get freak, uh, filled in fast, yeah. or those jobs will just be too competitive. Jobs like that are just always just revolving doors. Like, revolving okay, doors. Whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, cool, you can't count. I got one who can. <laughs> right. Yeah. He can count to ten, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He knows all his letters. But that's what I do about New York. It fucking toughens you the fuck up. Yeah. It toughens it you up, man. You fucking sur- you learn how to survive. You know what I love about New York? The food. It's just unlimited here. I do like that. I do food. like that it's just easy to travel because yeah. of the shitty subways. Uh, what do you mean? It's easy to travel. Just yeah, you can get oh, no, no, I mean like, but, well. but I mean like in, in general, like, dude, in California, there's like, I don't know what it is in you LA, but when I live here in San Diego, you could, yeah, you gotta like drive. There's yeah, like, you gotta drive. There's no deliveries and most of the things close at like fucking, dude, everything like, closes mad like, early. early. I can't do that. Yeah, that's why. Do that. No, but here's the thing. Here's the Close's thing. Early What's gonna make it's up fine. What are you gonna, what is Listen, you, they're three hours ahead of us, but when I tell you, I be fucking, by the time it's like 11 o'clock, I'm like, Oh, I'm fucking. I want to take. A, I want to go to sleep. Yeah. Like, cause if there I was ahead. Yeah. So my time. I mean, obviously you get used to it after a while. Obviously, yeah. But what but, does that do for me? I'm talking about over here in New York. You got everything open twenty four seven. Not everything. Yeah. We got a lot of things. Well, we have a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of. Bro, there's 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 always diner. There's always a diner open somewhere. And yeah. There's so much crazy. shit. Yeah. And there's always chimmy chimmy truck. Chimmy Yo, truck. Oh, I'm sorry. Friday. Why? But did we not take any of those fries? Did we not take any of that food from Kellogg's back? Did we just we went leave to all of Kellogg's? It? Yeah. That explains, that explains, okay, because I that found- That explains the shits? No, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I, like not only just I the I woke sh- up having to take a mean Dude, shit. Dude, I woke up and I was like, wait a minute. I was like, there's bottles of water here. I was like, I was like, wait. I was like, we also had like leftovers. There was something in my fridge. It was like, I don't even know what it was. It just looked like eggs and, and uh, corned beef hash. Oh, that, that's all you. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I, I, ordered, I ordered a big ass plate of fries. I'm like, we never took that. Fuck. What else? And what happened to Steven? He came back with us and then he left. Well, he was. You guys stayed. Me and her left. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember what happened to him. I remember, no, you guys left. He left before you guys. No, he didn't. He was still. He was here. He was just passed out. He was just yeah. He chilled out there. That's a weird individual, but he's a cool dude. I told you he's weird, man. I like him. Like he's he's all right. You know what I mean? He's not a bad dude. Yeah, he's but he's just very it's weird. just yeah. Like you could tell it's because he's not. This isn't his environment. Like we're more like socially active. You know what I mean? What? Who is he? What, who like, is he? I never met him. Have I? He's um. I don't probably once. It's like one of Nick's friends, but like we're we're cool too. You know what I mean? But it's like they went to college together. And then, like, um, like he's he's also a pothead, so like that's somewhere where we get related on, you know yeah. what I mean? We we had but that he's like marijuana super connection. Super anti-social when he smokes. Though. It, it's because when he smokes, yeah, when he smokes, man, he's just like a fucking. He just fucking case is tapped out of everything. Mm. He's just, bro, uh, shuts that down. people just are so draining. Yeah. But you know, but you know uh, what it is though? Is this, uh, that's the other thing about it? All right, so like, check us out. I've had this conversation with him because he's younger than us. He's like in his mid twenties. Oh, I, that makes sense. And, and like, but but even then, he's I not like that. There's there's, there's there's like everyone says there's a certain kind of potheads. There's two. There's two in New York. There's two. So you got like the educated pothead who knows what he's smoking. He knows how he wants to feel. He knows what to quit. He knows what he's trying to get out of it. Right? Us. Right? Fucking red. Like I don't know. Like like other people. Like basically who know how to smoke. Mm, then yeah. you got like people like like Leo and like Steven who they're just like like oh like what are you smoking? Like, I don't know his weed. Like okay, I, like, hate, I hate when they, I hate when yeah. they shit. Oh, it's like, like a yo. social thing for them. It's like for them to like it's like 
no, want to no. drink beer, but it's like I'm drinking beer. I don't care which beer. Yeah, as long as it's, a social, it's a social thing for them. No, no, no. It's not, not even that they don't like. Yeah, it's well, like, it's not, like giving not, themselves permission to be social. It, but it's like no, by it's trying to. You gotta need a drink in your no, fridge, not, it, huh? You gotta need a drink in your fridge besides sink water. No, um, so water. no, so <laughs> so like so like it's not like that. It's it's more like trying to get drunk, but it's like not knowing about like alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So like when you're when you're like used to drinking, you're like. Oh, like, what am I going to drink? This Bushmills motherfucking whiskey? Or am I going to drink, like, some Jameson? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, one's going to give you a hangover, one's not. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, about, like, like what you actually, like, you know what you're ingesting. You know what I mean? You're not just getting fucked up to get fucked up. And even sure. then, yeah. like, even if you are drinking, like, you know, like, this today I plan to get fucked up. You know what I mean? Or today I, I just want a little sip. Yeah, Like, certain people, sense. like, when they smoke pot, <clears throat> right? And, like, they just do it and they're just like, like, oh, I'm so fucking high, man. And I'm like, yeah, I think it's a, more of a social thing. It's like to connect with people and to have something in common with no, them. No, because they, they could do it by themselves and not connect with anybody. My point is that, like, it's just that they do it because, like, they, like they're, they're, they're used to it, if that makes sense. They're like, they like smoking weed. Yeah. But they have no idea what the fuck is that they're actually intaking. You know what I mean? Like, they're just yeah. like, it's weed. And shit can be laced, man. Shit can be laced. Uh, yeah, and that's, and that's the other thing about it. Even then, like, you know what I mean? Like, some people be like, oh, I got to smoke weed before I go study or, like, do something. You be smoking a fucking indica knock the fuck out yeah like, you don't know what the fuck you're taking you're just you, like you're on un, you're under educated into that like you know like type of life mm-hmm. i'm very uneducated into that shit but i don't smoke weed so I'm yeah. but that's what, yeah, you guys yeah that's what we're Whoa, saying like, we, yeah we saying you guys think you're better than me so i gotta defend I don't myself i think i'm better than you i i can see it in your eyes i fucking know there's a difference between <laughs> thinking and knowing See, like, that's the difference between me and Gabe, because I also know, but I just wasn't <laughs> going to tell you. <laughs> I, I wanted it to be a secret. <laughs> I was like, he's going to find out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> He'll figure it out. <laughs> no, but like, you know what I mean? That's like, that's, that's the other thing. But like, he's a cool guy. He's a he cool is. guy. But like, yeah, like that's, that's okay. what, but I always try to tell him, my like, dude, if we're going to smoke, we we'll smoke a little one. And he, this dude rolls like fucking joints and blunts fatter than your thumb. Which I Damn. like. Yeah, no, but that's good at the it's end good. of the night. But, but in the beginning of the night, like you have no idea, like, yo, there's times when I've like smoked and I'm like, I can still be social and smoke. No matter what it is, you know what I mean. I'm not going to be as active as I was, mm-hmm. but there's times that I've introduced him to people, and he's just like, like he doesn't say, anything. Out. yeah, he just like nods his head, and they're like, you, you like, oh, like, do you live in New York? And he'll just like nod his head, like, yeah. Maybe he's just, just gotta like, like he open up when he gets comfortable with someone. No, if when saying. he's sober, he can have like a, a, a normal adult like you know yeah. dialogue. Totally you know what I mean? Otherwise, the other person's just having a monologue. You know what I mean? Because like this is like that's what it is. Like he's just like yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's it, got a weird twitch to him too. Like, <laughs> like fucking, damn! I just always thought he was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah. So he's break happy dance, fucking pop lock him. Where do you Where's go, <laughs> my darling? <laughs> bing, 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 bing. I love that song. <laughs> um, what else is awesome about New York? Oh, you know what else is really awesome? Dollar pizza? I yeah. fucking love that shit. Dollar I can survive off of that. Pizza. Uh, it's not always good for you. It'll for fuck you. up not your stomach. You. And in fact, but if you got $5 and you need to eat, yeah. you yeah. need to feel full, it'll make you feel full. I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing that I like. I'm going to bring it up again. Not just the fucking time of the food, all right? <laughs> but the authenticity of it. True. You get true, what I'm saying to true. you? Like, this is like, yo, bro. Like I've been to like LA and San Diego, the big, the big ass fucking cities. I've been to San Francisco, and San Francisco is the only other fucking place that I could think of that has almost as much food from like different countries as New York. Yeah, yeah. LA, nothing but tacos. But yo, the tacos in LA, dude, this is they're so good. Yeah, they're they mad got good. nothing, bro. This you is like, got nothing in the show, the fucking true the Mexican food over e- there. Bro. Even even like think about this, right? This, so I, I I imagine that like in DR. Like coastal food is different from mountain food, right? Of course, inland. Yeah. I guess you would say. Yeah, yeah. So like it's the same thing with Ecuadorian food, like it is with most most countries, and you can actually find that shit in New York. Like you can be like, oh, like no, no, no. I thought like these this is Dominican food from the coast. Like oh no, this is like inland Dominican food. Yeah, and you that's what's fu- yeah, that's yeah. what's fucking crazy. Like think about that. You can go to like you can be in California, and they'll be like, oh, it's Dominican food. Like oh, cool. Like and that's just there's very no, there's general. No, there's no Dominican food over there. Oh, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's just even if there were, I'm just saying yeah. it would be very yeah, general. Sure. It would this is Super general. And this city, like, you can do, you can have, like, a ton of shit. Like, from yeah. every fucking country, you could find something yeah, different. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And I, I, I mean, appreciate that's what I like about New York. It's just nothing of a bunch of immigrants. Yeah, yeah it's mad mean? immigrants. It's, it's so fucking awesome. So much immigrants We're here. mad good food. Yo, and you know, talking about food, we haven't been to Chinatown. You guys want to go we eat in Chinatown? No. I ate before you guys got here. Oh, uh, bitch. <laughs> um, I'm fucking hungry. I actually brought some food because I'm on a very strict diet. 
So I actually well, how's it? Some... you bring your fucking liquid fucking How's it going nah, by the way? It's going pretty good. Yeah. Um what do you guys think? I mean, how do I look? Or... You still look fat. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> how long have you been doing this diet? Like a week. <laughs> but yeah, you still look fat, man. <laughs> Shit, you fucking jerk! I, I thought it was like a while because I was, I was like, I was like, I don't want to say nothing because it's not looking like it. Mm, but it's like been a week, fat. so yeah, I can't tell. Shit, yeah. like wait, like how do I look? Everybody, my mom's like, yo, she's like, you're getting gaining weight, and I'm like, I, I am. I'm <laughs> like, that's yeah, what, you like, you got your dad bod back. Yeah, I'm like, I'm lifting yeah. hard, heavy as fuck. Yeah, I'm like, dude, like. So I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't care because I'm cutting. <laughs> like my my weight cut starts in in two weeks. So that's yeah. it. This is this is what I'm doing. Like I'm literally just tacking on like fucking mad mass right now. Like, but I'm lifting heavy as like a motherfucker. Like Man. I, I want to see how strong I actually am. Yo, you know what I noticed? I, I will say this talking about New York, about the Bronx specifically. You know what I noticed? What? Every Stay the day, fuck away. I live in the Bronx. No go zone. I, li- I live in the Bronx. Now. Jesus, Fetty Wap. Can we did it before me, man? Every day, everyone wears sweats all the and time. And class. Every day feels like a Sunday in the Bronx. <laughs> oh, for real? Every day feels like a Sunday. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking hilarious. Every day, bro. <laughs> Everyone's wearing sweats at all times of the day. They're wearing like sandals and shit, sandals and socks. And it's not like nice fucking, like, it's not like, you know, outside sweats. It's like, I'm in, I'm home, lounge, there's lint. There's lint. The, you know <laughs> he has little lint balls. Every day, like, everyone, everyone's face looks like, looks like they got to go to work tomorrow, but they're not going to go to, but they don't work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's fucking weird. Oh my but God. But every day feels like a Sunday in the Bronx. <clears throat> and there's shit. Every, on all the floors, everywhere. Yeah. I always look on the floor when Fuck, I walk. Fuck yeah, I know. There's Crazy. shit everywhere. But that's whole New York. There's so much shit in the floor. That's, that's also so the, fucking much that, shit. Like literal, like literal like, I'm gonna, shit. I'm gonna go back yeah, to one, like, one of the things that I hate. Yeah, too. And maybe human poop. Fuck. Yeah, this, I, yeah. I think so. That's, there's think always so. poop. I don't know you what know the poop why? is about. Like I saw don't like poop fucking everywhere. chilling near um the Lower East Side. Yeah, because you know, because I know there's mad homeless people there. Yeah, because I used to work at the shelters in that area. Yo, they're fucking just shit outside. Yeah, that's crazy. Are we are we catching them? Yeah, just black. Is it, and that's it. So now on that subject, that's also another thing. I hate shit everywhere because it's underground, it's on the ground, and it's coming from the sky because birds shit like crazy everywhere. Yeah, they do. Yo, it's fucking There's, gross. Yeah. And and construction. I hate the motherfucking There's construct- always construction. There's always construction. We said a lot of somewhere. bad things about New York. They say good things now. We, we gotta, did. I love New York. It makes yeah, you tough. Yeah, I like that it makes you tough. tough. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it makes you're your survivor. I like yeah. the tough the thing, dollar, too. The dollar pizza shit. There's I like the tough thing. It, yeah. it makes you move fast because you want to get to work on time. Yeah. It does make you move fast. It makes you move. I know it's that. I yeah. move at a quicker But you know the biggest thing The biggest thing that I got about New York, because I lived outside New York for many times. I've lived everywhere. A lot of places. Not everywhere, but a lot of places. I noticed that in New York specifically, there's an energy. There's this like youth energy to fucking succeed. Yeah, man. There's this like powerful energy, like to succeed, 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 become better. I feel that shit. You know that I don't, I feel that. And I don't feel that anywhere else. Definitely not in fucking uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, gross, man, dude. You no, know Pennsylvania is not a bad state. <clears throat> it's gr- it's a gr- it's a it's a good state. I, I I love it the way it looks. It's yeah. outdoors. I love it. Well, you 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 grew up in PA, right? Yeah, pretty much. So you kind of have that. I grew up here. And connection. Then, well, I grew up my teenage years. Yeah, my where, teenage years. I grew up in PA, where, where we're talking Reading, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I fucking hated it. I did and not like it. I, I mean, went, don't get me wrong. I will not move to the states. Now, the reason why the reason why I went to PA is because when I was out here. In Jeff- Thomas Jefferson High School in East New York, it's a really bad fucking school back yeah, in like it was. 2000. Um, I got into some shit with some. Wait, some, what school is that? Where's Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson High School Jefferson in High school. Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. Is, ter- was this, this is my high school, and I got into some shit with some crip, and I, I guess he didn't like that I beat him up. I guess he didn't like that. You he know, was his ego fucking die. Well, he, I guess his ego was in accepting the fact that he lost, and then he just came to my mom's business. Pennsylvania and, and Stanley. What on Pennsylvania and Stanley? Is it Stanley? Yeah, it's for yeah f- down by there. Yeah, Pennsylvania Stanley. Did you know a girl named Gabriella Frias? What year she graduated? Eighty six. Uh, what is it? Two thousand and four. I might have. Yeah, for sure. She's I might tiny, have. tiny little Dominican girl. If you show me a picture, I probably fuck. Uh, I, I'm not. I would, would not remember her name though. Find that picture. Finish the story. But um, I got into some shit. So the, these these kids, these fucking, you know, these cribs. They uh, go to my mom's business and. 
broke her window and shit. Oh, and, shit. And then, that part happened. Yeah. Fuck and I've gotten, I've gotten into some fight. I got into a lot of fights here in you, New York. Got, you got into a lot of fights yeah, in but New York. I think this people is, just always, for some reason, people just look at you and just think, I'm going to hit him. I don't think anything's going to happen. Probably glasses. No, she's pretty, though. But my dad you, was like... You graduated in 2004? Yeah, but I didn't graduate in, in, in that school. I didn't graduate in Thomas oh. Jefferson. I had to leave Thomas Jefferson because my yeah. dad saw, oh, shit, it's getting too violent for you here. Go to PA and finish school there. And then Let's I... went to school with my ex-wife. Is that your ex-wife? That's my ex-wife. Oh, she went to Thomas shit. Jefferson too? Yeah. yeah. Let me see your ex-wife. Let me see her again. Show me other pictures of her. Of, why do you have pictures of your ex-wife, bro? It's been mad years. It's on WhatsApp. Dude. It's on WhatsApp? Yeah, I've so you, got, you guys still, Oh, so you guys are good, though? Go. Fuck no, I'm good. <laughs> I just, I just saved her. I saved her. I have her number here just in case some shit goes down. <laughs> like, what, like what? Our our credit scores are somehow connected, and I can't figure out how to like undo that, even though I have a lot. Dude, show me other picture where she's oh, not covering not, her her head yeah, and shit, like an actual fucking bikini picture, please. This guy, <laughs> <I> moved, <laughs> no, she was hot, so that's all you gotta know. I moved, uh, dude. I moved, I moved to I moved to uh, to PA. I think when I was like eleven or twelve, and I was like, "This is fucking gay." Reading it's the worst. Who the fuck Letting spells it. a state reading? Named it after the Monopoly fucking game. It's Monopoly board. Yeah, I was the, like, it's so gay. Reading railroad. That's funny because reading and Pennsylvania are both railroads. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, but oh. I got into a lot of fight in Reading too. And then um, I decided to channel my energy in boxing. Mm-hmm. I got into boxing. You said that. Is that a real mm-hmm. thing? Yeah, I had yeah, he did. three fights. I had three fights. Squishy knuckles. And these knuckles? They look so squishy. Come on, man. You don't want to. Look at this. Are you, my hands are bigger than Don't you have though. your golden gloves? <laughs> no, I never I never went for golden gloves because my third fight, it was in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, and I fought a super heavyweight. And then I realized- What's well, oh, a super heavyweight? It's like 120 pounds and over. 220 pounds and over. Jesus, that guy and sounds big as hell. Big as hell. He was fat as fuck, bro. I, I was well fed. I was big bones, bro. <laughs> you were heavy? You were super heavyweight? I was, I was heavyweight, but the heavyweight division can also get into the super heavyweight. Damn. It was like a combination. Oh, okay. It was I a see combination. It. So then I fought the super heavyweight through my third fight in Pottstown. I remember this guy was big black dude. And he hit me hard. I was like, yep, I'm never going to fight again. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't think I'm going to do this anymore. Yeah. But to be honest, like, I didn't read, like, to be honest, like, I just took on boxing because of, I had a lot of free time. I didn't really, yeah. like, had this, like, urge to fight for real, like, that, you know? Yeah, my mom put me in karate because I was always getting picked on. <laughs> so, like, like literally what happened to me. I, 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 well, my mom put me in karate here. I loved it. And she was like, this is costing a lot. <laughs> and then I couldn't have it anymore. Damn. I, I actually like I liked like doing the training for karate, but when they used to make a spar, I would get so I nervous. Used to fucking love it. I, I used to, to hate all it. That shit, Dude, man. when I would start losing, I would just try kicking people in the crotch. I didn't care if it was a boy or <laughs> 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 I swear to God. And then like yeah, and then the sensei would always be like he'd be like, Hey man, you can't you to kill above the belt, you can't be, pe- kill people in the crotch. Hey, but I hate the cool, you can't do that to cool. And then like <laughs> but here's the thing though, is that like after I hit him in the crotch and we started fighting again, they were a lot slower. So it was like I was still win though, you know what I mean? Like you learn that way <laughs> dude think about it you're gonna be in a street fight i'm gonna be like wait a minute no. man my sensei he said keep it above the belt <laughs> like, oh, dog he's in new york I, i've been jumped a lot and like, before you fight do your katas first yeah dude. yeah like, always <laughs> yeah <laughs> and warm up <laughs> did, well you know techniques. well you know, hey, when eat, i got into mcmap when i in the marine corps in the when you, when you got when i first got into mcmap i was like oh this is legit you can fucking St- fucking stab someone's eye. Yeah, you can eye yeah. Yo, when I first yeah. got him, I was like, "Oh fish hook? shit!" Yeah, you can, and then hook? I was yeah. like, yeah, you can, "Yep, mm. that's it." I'm, what, I'm yeah. sink. I'm, I was like, "That's all I need." So I need twisters or thing. Twisters, bro. Yeah, like, like if they know how to do the prey with the bones thing, I'm good. Yeah, like, like you grab, you punch them in the nuts, and then if that's not working, just rip it off. With the fucking, with your teeth too. With your teeth, anything, bro. Anything works. Anything goes. Anything goes, bro. Anything goes. A big nap, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. The craziest, I think, make map thing that I've ever done was like me against two girls, and they beat me up. <laughs> like, I so believe it though One so girl, so one girl it, strangled though. me With my shirt And that's what got me Oh she, like, shit She, she, she guillotine choked she, you she, Yeah she literally went Like this she, 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 she grabbed my collar From the front Oh fuck And she just yeah, pulled it back oh, And yeah. then she, put, she had her knee On my back So while I was holding The other girl Like I just started Getting choked yeah. out And I was just like Oh fuck I was like I'm out like, <laughs> I tapped I was like Dude oh, fuck. McMahon's so fucking fun bro It is It is So fucking fun it's dude so, yeah. It was fun And it was just I I love I loved it I loved it And I actually went To a dojo Outside of Lejeune To practice 
uh, mixed martial arts. Did you get any I good? did like McNabb. I did like the grappling part. Once yeah, you learned how to bro. do that hip throw and how to, when, you're on, Fuck, when you're on the ground, so fun, yeah. bro. how to reverse I was like, yeah. oh, this is fucking awesome. So when I went to the, I went to the dojo and I was learning new shit, yeah. and then I go back to the McMap training courses mm-hmm. that we had and fuck them up. I was a fucking everyone up. This, <laughs> this was the biggest ego boost I've ever had in my life because yeah. everyone was like, "Don't well, call Carlos like Castillo." That's what they called me. It's like yo, Castillo, man. He's he'll fuck you up, man. And I was fucking people up, bro. <laughs> He's like, I'll biggest fuck ego up. boost. That is biggest. That's huge. It is. It really is. It was great, but when I went to the dojo, I was getting fucked up. But then I had to take it out on someone else. Yeah, so you just you don't know, it's just ego boost. I'm pretty yeah. sure they did it. I'm pretty sure when everyone got Libo yep. at 92, they went home and go. I went. I want to show someone else showed me. Uh, I'm yeah, I went up against I like black it. belts. I went. I, I specifically like I chose like black belt dudes. So like, yeah, I want to go up against you. Let's do it. And black belt dudes like the staff sergeants. I'm I'm a Shit. Lance Corporal. You yeah. know, I'm, staff sergeants like, hey, let's go, Carl Castillo. I'm like, let's do it. They prefer to come to me. You know, it was like it was great. It's great. Yeah, I wasn't so, I wasn't like intense like like I, I don't even know what belt they were. We were just like started grappling people, but like like that was that was the thing, man. I, I liked it because like uh, I, I've always been like I guess like kind of like really small like and stuff. Yeah, your height. Yeah, yeah. like it's, yeah. So it was like it was like it, yeah, like people were like it was like like couldn't get me an arm bar, so it was just like literally roll out of it. Like I have yeah. little, I have short arms. Yeah, so man, I'm like, you yeah, arms. like you give yeah. like, like, And then like when when I did do it outside, when I, I was like like uh like the first year, I decided to be like a civilian. Mm-hmm. Again, <laughs> you know, it was like I went. I went to uh, what is it? It was like a, a LA boxing, but they had like everything there. So they had like kickboxing and like yeah. you know BJJ. So we got in there, and like like the first two classes that I went to, like an asshole, I wore my Marines shirt. It was like the, 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 the yellow. Yeah. So yeah, but then like that's the thing is like when you do that, it was like I want to fight the Marine. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, and I'm like, yeah, that was just one. Kind of, you get it? You're like, yeah, like Shit. like you said, it was like it's a boost because it was me and another Marine who was like, yeah, he's like, yo, dude, he's like, they're gonna come after you. Watch. Yep. And then and like and like he was like like um because they, they made us do three three rounds, right? It was like a round one round with every different person. And that first day, yo, I choked out every single person with their own arm. That's right. Yeah, that's how you do it. I was like, yo, I was like, the kid, I was like, uh, one kid was talking mad shit. He was like, yo, he's like, you're short? He's like, I'm going to fuck you up. And I looked at the guy, I was like, I'm going to choke this kid out with his I've own never arm. been yeah. choked out. I've never been choked out. Never been choked out. Me neither. I've, I, like, you told me the girl choked the only you out, time, bro. Well, the only, like time, the only times I've been no, choked like, out. not like one-on-one. The only like, time yeah. I've been choked out I've is never. when I had to be the person they had to perform for them to get their belt. You know, when they do the test shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is the only time I've been choked out. Oh, I'm lying. No, I'm lying. Yeah, that's true. I did. Someone pulled. A guillotine, a guillotine on me and bro like he literally but like was, I tapped out I was like okay he's out. got his fucking thing so dude, stop doing it dude this guy was yeah this guy was told to me I'll never forget this this is what really freaked me out like this is why I, like, I, like you know when someone does something you're like yeah I'm never letting that happen again it was yeah. one of those situations this dude literally like he was told to me and this dude stood up and picked me up so my legs were swinging and I didn't want to like tap out and then I just remember like like I, I like, like I just saw everything like go black yeah. and I just like he just dropped me yeah and he, cause like Dude. I was just like shit. I was like I saw it going away. I was like, oh. I remember my God. when you choked out Victor, bro. <laughs> it was so funny, Victor, my boy Victor from PA. Yeah, we were like he's like he's like you in the group. Yeah, super, super but you're handsome. No, no, exactly. That's why he's you in the group. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, you know, it's funny. You and Victor talk in the exact way about each other. It's and funny. It's, it's funny. Shit. Why, what's what's up with Victor? We like compete against each other because like, how is that me in the group? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know you'll get it when you'll you guys it. meet it. Yeah. But yeah, I haven't I met out. Victor? Yeah, he's met you him you've before. Met him before? Oh, he's okay. met him before. I choked him yeah. out. Wait, Victor's the one with the with the piece. Bald. Yeah, no, I'm nothing like Victor, bro. I'm not Victor. I'm nothing like Victor. <laughs> See, I like his reaction. That yeah. Your, 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 yeah, that reaction says it all about Victor. Bro, what was your other boy's name? Do you do you know Sam. that Sam? He's never met Sam, bro. Know Sam. You never met Sam, yo. Sam, so yeah, but I chucked him. Tell him about how I uh, Victor. Dude. So Victor, because because you just got back from. Um, MCI, right? MCT? No, I just no. got back. I just, sorry, <laughs> MCI. I, MCT. I just got from Marine Corps Online. You're right. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You got back from MCT no, at I that got, time. I got oh, back from, um, not MCT. Uh, Grunt, I got Grunt school, right? Yeah, I got back from my, um, damn, what was the school called? School SOI. Future, SOI. You got back from SOI, right? And then I came to visit you. Yeah. Um, I came to visit you in PA. And um, we were talking to Victor because he pushed out. He's such a puss. He pushed out. He pushed out the hardcore. core. And we were talking about choking people out. And he's like, "That that doesn't work on me." I, well, he was saying something like that. He's like, "That doesn't work. That doesn't work." I yeah. Hate people that and then out of that. and then his sister and then his sister was just there. She was like, "Yeah, whatever. These guys don't know what they're talking about." It's like, yeah. "What?" I'm like, "Are you serious? Are you serious?" <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck are you saying right now?" And then Gabe, you like, "All right, let's let me try it on you then." And then. 
He volunteered. He's like, yeah, let's do it. But you're not going to do it. You're not going to choke me out. Oh, no. no I, had a, I, I had a way from the turn around to you. And then I got him. <laughs> and then you got him. And then <laughs> he completely he choked him out. I just... <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking... <laughs> Night, oh, night, sweet. night, night. And I did the thing. I did the thing the guy did to you, where I elevated his body, I let him dangle, yeah, and yeah, just fucking. Dangled. But you don't let him. You don't let him fall away. You like, drop. I like I you were like a professional. You were like a professional like fucking. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, his sister was freaking out. That was so funny, man. <laughs> his sister was freaking out. That was so bad. <laughs> Ah, Yo, uh, no, so like I remember the first time I met Sam, it was he, he came over to the crib. Was when we Your were Sam? Your boy Sam? Yeah, yeah. His, his boy. And what the fuck is Sam? Um, kid with glasses. He's he was cool. Like he's cool with me. Like when we met, like it was it was very mellow. Like he actually went with us that night because it was it was my birthday weekend. Yeah. Remember? And I went yeah, out. We went to like we went we went shopping. We got like high. Like we went to like the mall. We just chilled and everything and whatnot. And then out of nowhere, yeah, like we ended up meeting up with the whole crew. Somehow we ended up just hanging out with like it's me, Gabe, Victor, um, my sister, and Sam at the end of the night. And then it's like Nick, Kayla, and uh, was it someone else was there? I think Rob was there. Like later, I think so uh, Victor, yeah, or Victor was there. Yeah, I think yeah. Victor was there. And then like so, your cousin, your cousin, uh, my cousin was there. <clears throat> yeah, with the green eyes. Well, I gave her, that's the day I gave her the book. Oh, no, Sophie, yeah, Sophie was yeah, there too, yeah. Sophie. So, like, we end up we end up going to, like, McFadden's. I don't know what the fuck happened here. Like, we literally, no one knows. So, like, at one point, like, like Nick and Kayla start fighting. And then, like, yeah. then Sam said something to, like, Kayla. Like, he was like, yo, shut the fuck up, bitch. And then she was like, yo, you're not going to call me bitch. And he's like, yo, bitch, I'll fucking slap you. And then, like, out of nowhere, Nick's like, yo, he's like, yo, watch your fucking mouth. He's like, yo, he's like, better check yourself. And then, and then Sam's like, yo, fuck you too, motherfucker. And then, like, yo, next thing I know, these two guys went at each other. They just ran at each other Damn. in the middle of the fucking Second Avenue. Yeah. Nick, and then, was, Nick was in the fight too? Nick and Sam were fighting fight. each other. Oh, yeah. yeah they were fighting each other. And then, like, and then, like, yo, like, honestly, like, I think Nick was going to take him down, man. Because he, he fucking. He was going to attack. He, he, like, it's, literally, it's, like, it's not, he literally, it's, like, grabbed him. It's and not just, that I didn't just held think. Him. It's that he was going to fucking destroy Sam. Yeah, he went like this. He, like, grabbed him. And he went like this. And I just saw, like, Nick pull his fist. Like, like yeah. literally, like, like just he was fucking yeah, cocked like, back. All the way back. Like, damn. And, like, and you could see and that, I literally, like, Sam I literally didn't said, have the reach for I literally it. grabbed like, both of them, him and Victor. I was like, I'll, I'll be back, guys. I'll see you guys later. And we that was enough for me. Then no, hit. we broke then it. We, bro- we broke yeah, we up. broke it up. And I left with them. And he left. Yeah, he grabs Victor and them. Sam. And then like later, and these motherfuckers and <laughs> the fighting each other, walking Victor down and Sam. Second half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I started hitting both of them. I was like, Why? He, he ended up fucking I got annoyed. Up, he ended up fucking up Sam though because Sam was the one who was instigating with everybody. He, they were, he, so he, he just Sam like, was just going through some shit. And no, he was, I know he was anger. He was you know he was just angry. He definitely should not have drunk. Yeah, and then and then but I was getting annoyed because I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I started gave yoked them up. Felt like a fucking like a like a father I was like I'm gonna beat the shit Above you kids Yeah Gabe yoked him up And I was just like I thought it was like Funny as fuck I was like damn I was like This motherfucker's like tight So yeah, funny Knowing the dicks out of me man Ruining my fucking yeah. night to me, I, don't to think me, you, I don't think your night was ruined I think you enjoyed it No I did not enjoy it I don't enjoy Putting my hands on friends No man. you enjoyed Yeah that was, that was I don't No the whole that. night was mad dope Cause we started yeah, off The whole at a night was awesome We started off at a rooftop Dude, Then we, we ended up at a club so many places It was yeah, great we, we ended up at Whiskey Damn. Brooklyn We yeah. ended up like Then we ended up in the city Yeah And then like just going places Yeah we were just going everywhere It was a really good night Not cool man Like It was a really dope That one thing Yeah that one night Just fucking runs You know what we need to do though Like honestly like, But it was a good night I like taking pictures But I want other people To start taking pictures Yeah you know what he did say recently? He wants to come back and redeem himself. Oh yeah, drinking yeah. contest? No, just that he, was <laughs> re- he, he, he yeah. wants to redeem himself after that night. You Damn, it's hard to do, redeem yourself after that. You only get one first yeah. impression. Like that's that's, that's it. Very true. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I don't hang out with Nick a lot, so it's not like he's ever going <laughs> to fucking meet really meet Nick. Does, if Nick and Sam ever run into each other again, I'm pretty sure they won't remember each other because yeah. it's been two years. So and also, probably, Nick yeah. is not with fucking Kayla anymore. So he's not going to give a fuck anything. Yeah. He's going to be like, you know what? Nick, no, you were Nick, right. Nick's, she was a dumb. Nick's bitch. not going to hold a grudge. Nick's yeah. not going to hold a grudge. Okay. You know what I mean? Which is a good thing. And then, like, I think, like, if we introduced them and we just didn't tell them that they've met before, they wouldn't even think about it. They'd just be friends. Yeah. Gotcha. Because I, I think that they both have those personalities that are just like, oh, you're cool. Oh, you're cool. Me too. They yeah, they just, are. We just, when we met, we had already, like, when we met Nick, like, we had already been pre-gaming and Nick was already drinking with Kayla. You know what I mean? So, like, we were kind of just all doing, like, our own thing. And by the time the end of that night started, like, it was just, yo, it was like the last stop. Yeah. So, we were all fucked up. You know what I mean? So I doubt they even remember that because it's like I said, Nick. Sometimes he drinks. He's like, I don't remember that, and I'm like, all right. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I get the same way sometimes. You know, 
All the time. No. I mean, sometimes. All the time. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. Like, honestly, I didn't remember Kellogg's. I remember being back here, but I don't remember Kellogg's. Yeah, I went to Kellogg's, and then we came back I here. always forget what we eat, and I probably, like, that's why, like, I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably why you are fat. Yeah, like, I'm like, we ate already? <laughs> yeah, we went to Kellogg's, and then we came here. You know how many times I've, like, looked at my credit card statement, and Nick's you, been like, you don't remember we went to that spot at 5 a.m., and I'm like, like fuck. <laughs> but you get how she gets, what she jokes is back and forth with me, how it's good, though, right? That's the reason why I like chilling with it's her. Like chemistry. Yeah, she's fucking hilarious. Right? She's, she's fucking... cool as fuck. She was like, it was mad funny. Gabe's like, yo, he's like, he's like, she has friends. She's not even the hot one. And she's like, I'm not. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I was like, so where are your friends at? And then the two of them were like, yo, we'll set it up for next week. And I was like, this isn't going to happen. I, I said it. I was, like, I was like, you guys are so full of shit right now. <laughs> yeah, man. She's funny as shit. Yo, like, tell, her, I was tell like, her to bring out her friends on Friday, like, bro. Because she was so me. She was. She was. She was. She just finished seeing that Ted Bundy uh, fucking uh, documentary. Oh shit! So you know how about everybody thinks the Ted tapes? Bundy's hot? Yeah. What? So she's like, for some reason, everyone thinks Ted Bundy's hot. What the fuck? Like, Yo, that is a thing it's now. crazy. So right? I mean, he's like the Michael Jordan of fucking serial killers when you think about it. Yeah, he's like he's like really like apparently he's like the really handsome, really well spoken, and you know like he's mean? just like charismatic. Also, he broke out of prison twice. He broke out of prison twice. White privilege, if I've never heard yeah. of it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> like it's it's insane. But yeah. So and she, and she was like, oh, I don't know. I was like, I know you're not into that choking thing. I was like, but if you play your cards right, I'll check you real good. <laughs> I remember that oh, wow. time. You bought, <laughs> wait a minute. You did buy one time with. Shades of Grey first came out. You bought fucking, uh, you bought bondage shit. Like you bought like a, I don't know what it is. Uh, it is a bondage. Uh, rope? Yeah, is ankle rope? restraints. Well, I'm not yeah, ashamed of it. Yeah, I fucking bought ankle wrist restraints. Yeah, because I like to tie bitches up and fuck them. I'm gonna be honest Dude, with you. It was, I'm like, it was for her though, right? It was for her. It was for her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, yo. It sounds kind of expensive. Dude, I was just like, it wasn't when he said rope. I was like, okay, it wasn't. It was expensive. rope, right? You get like, it wasn't rope. It's but two, you can use rope. It was two dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? I put a t-shirt around an ankle just so it don't. Yeah, I used to use that. I used to use that. But no, I like just think it's like it's got the the velvet thing, so it don't hurt. But yeah. it's strong as fuck. Well, you just good. put it over the mattress. Yeah. You put it in the corners of the mattress, and you they know can't do and they can't do nothing about it after. It's like, how kinky do you want to get? Do you want like soft races or do you want a rope? <laughs> like what? Like you want me to leave marks? Like, is that, like how do you, do you want? What, what do you about this it? right there? You know what I mean? How far, far do you want this to go? What That's do you just mean? so funny, man. Do you want me to fucking punch you in the mouth? Or do you want me to fucking serenade you? Let Come me, on. yeah, like tell me, huh? Like that shit was so funny because um, you actually had me help you install that shit in your mattress. Yeah, you just had to pick up the mattress. That's it. Yeah. I think it's not like it was a whole thing, dude. One of my boys. It was a bonding moment, bro. My boys it's is like, uh, my boys, my boys putting some ropes on this fucking patch to tie that bitch up. You know, yeah, it's a man. Moment. The, fucking, yeah, they're into it. They're into it. I'm into it. What's the, you know, what's that's, up? That's one of my fucking dudes in like the fucking, in the, what's it called? The Veterans Affairs shit. This dude's like, this dude's like, uh, yeah, he's like, what do you think about these? This dude's just showing me uh, ha- harnesses. Oh, fuck it. Then harnesses? I'm out. He's like, he's just showing, yeah, he's like, he's like, I got harnesses. He's like, you know what I mean? He's like, which one do you think looks cool? And I'm like, dude, they all look the fucking same. <laughs> like, I couldn't tell the fucking difference. You know, recently she sent me a picture of, of new like ones. Like sex harnesses. Of what? Of new, like, bondage stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I was like, yes. <laughs> that's dope. I'm dude, that's so me, bro. You, yeah. No. So me, bro. Wait, so do you guys have any fetishes? Yeah, obviously yeah. they're talking about it. You're talking about it right Fuck now. Yeah, I got fetishes. What, dude? There's, that's one. That's I'm saying one. fetishes. I, I said fetishes. Oh, oh in general. Okay. One of my fetishes. I don't know why. I just have a thing for redheads. Like, yo, redheads. me too. Redheads. Yeah, redheads. I don't know why. Not. Amber's a redhead. No, but she not dies. not not that's, not real redheads. Dies. Like, I want like ginger redheads. Like, she's a ginger, bro. Yeah, <sighs> yeah Amber's really a ginger. She's she's she doesn't like. I can't see her. as We've seen her gothic face. She is no ginger. She dies in real black. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Yeah. So like, if I see her as a gentleman, I'm go. Mm-hmm. She she like she kind of she kind of reminds me of like um what's her name who Morticia. Yeah, she right? does. Right, it's the, it's she her hair. Her, she dyes her yeah. hair black. That's why. Yeah, the hair. yeah, like Morticia, but way happier, and I think a little bit like not pale. Yeah. Is she pale? <laughs> she's pale. I don't remember. She's pale. She's pale. Not, not as pale as, as Morticia. Yeah, though. she's okay. It's pale as fuck though. But like yo, like yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like fetishes, right? So boom, redheads. Yeah, like uh, redheads. bondage. Yeah, but like you know what? To be honest. I re- I'm don't really- tie me up though. Huh? I, will, uh, no. can, I, can, I, can't, I can't do that either. Yeah. Can't do that. Can't I, do I mean, that. I have to have. I have to be. Well, I'll be too vulnerable. Yeah, I don't like that. I can, but I'm gonna break out of that shit. I always do. Yeah. Something's gonna break. Yeah. Like, something's I'm gonna, gonna I'm break. Gonna break yeah. out of it. I'm gonna break out of it. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Girls are always trying to push it up my butt, and I'm like, no, nope, I will fuck nope. it. Don't do that. 
But you like it. No, I don't. No, I don't. I already know. I've stopped many girls for trying no, to do it. No, it is. Is they like to fucking play around too much. They're like, this will make you <laughs> orgasm. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> so Phil's gonna get you later. <laughs> I always say, all right, I'll let you do it, but I'll let you do it, but you gotta let me fuck you in the ass, and I'll let you go first, and I go last. No one has called me out on it so far. Thank mm. you, Jesus. What? Someone will. No, because I don't. Someone fucking will. Because if they do, I'm going to go, well, no, it's off the table now. I don't want to do it anymore. You're gambling a, <laughs> a dangerous game, buddy. I always just try one finger first. You're gambling a <laughs> dangerous game, I'll just be like, no, no, thank you. And I always have the same no, move. I'll just be like, no, it's off the table now. Nothing. <laughs> Let's go for the direct <laughs> shot. <laughs> Poker in the butt. <laughs> Poker in the butt. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I bought that. It was, yeah, it was for that. It's pretty funny. Yeah. It's our bonding moment. I got to think for You're like, really upset that I was met- ha- I was happy for your penis. I was like, man, I'm so proud of Gabe's penis if he does this. It's like you're kind of masturbating. I don't know why, but I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was, proud, you, of, I was proud of your you. penis, man. I was like, oh, you're going to bond this chick up. It's awesome. What about awesome. you? What about you, Carlos? I've never bonded a chick before. So I was, I was living vicariously through you, man. <laughs> I was living vicariously <laughs> through you. <laughs> There's never been like a thought to like tie someone up. No, it's just it's never been. No, but I do say what something. You You're not into I, shit. I, I don't know why. What are you like missionary? Because you fucking yeah. into Trump and shit. Trying to keep it yeah. basic. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But recently, I'm into like really passed out drunk girls. Oh, shit. So at that point, you don't You're even restrain into her. Date rape? A, no, like, but yeah, you know, she's, they, it's got to be like. It's got to be like. Oh, it's not rape. It's got like it's Brock willing. Turner porn. No, so, it's not so, rape. So are they are they conscious or unconscious? No, it's they were conscious at first, but then you get to so, conscious from unconscious, and then it's like, hey. and then you fuck when they're and unconscious. then I fuck them when they're unconscious. When they're unconscious, yeah. huh? But to my credit, it's I only really like it. I only could get off. I couldn't even when get they it don't. Up. When they no, know when, when they, they you say, know, when you know their eyes are closed. No, when they say it's not rape, if it's willing. When they say that shit, all right. Oh, you mean when they wake up? No, nope, they wake like. So wait, 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 wait. So how is you know it's willing if they're like you know not awake? It comes up. I bring it up. So somehow I bring it up. It just comes <laughs> up. how how it they're not up. awake. Okay. Yeah. That's how it come up. Like so you like you're into you're to the rape. Hey, listen, a lot of women are in that rape fantasy shit, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Someone's too. gotta rape women. them <laughs> <laughs> willingly. 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 It's gotta That's be a, a thing secret. that this gotta be it's gotta be, it's called, gotta be a thing gotta, that we're into. You, like, gotta, you gotta get consent. Yeah. yeah. Like, gotta like I gotta cons- get consent and I can't even get I can't even get it up if there's no consent. Like it, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. I've had situations. Yeah. Sounds like these videos you're watching, no. you're not gonna get consent. <laughs> like, so I don't know. It's funny. Sounds shit. like you can't get it. Up. I was like, just for the record, I like rape scenarios, but not the actual <laughs> act of rape. I tell if you, you say no, <laughs> my conscience forbids it. When I was in Lejeune, me and my best my good friends in the core and you guys had the fantasy dream together, driving. but it wasn't a dream. And I was and driving. Miserable. <laughs> Wait, I was driving, and we went to a, we went to a club because um, I saw you do La Maraca. There. It was yeah, obviously you know. <laughs> and I saw you do there. It's the and only then, fucking Spanish spot there. We I parked my car. I literally parked my car, and yeah. then my boys like, wait, let me smoke this uh, spice because that's what we were doing at the time. We were doing spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah spice was, was good. Yeah, and out of nowhere, out of yeah. nowhere, this really fucking. Drugged out white girl. She was so drugged out of a fucking mind. Climbs in my car and gets in my car with all my boys there. And then we didn't say nothing at first. And what we did was we all looked at each other. We were like, "We're gonna fuck this bitch." Yeah, and like, I'm it. like, "What the fuck?" And then my boy was like, "Dude, I'm we gonna fuck this or what?" Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. We gonna close we're the gonna door. Close the door. Yeah, like show close the my, door. Let's show go. with my show with my dick out. Let's just go to a hotel. <laughs> like, show with my dick out. I felt I don't know why, even though I'm into guilty. that type, of, even though I'm into that type of shit, I felt so wrong. I felt so wrong, and I was like, I I closed it. I ended for them. They probably they, they fucking hated it. They were like, oh fuck, Carlos ruined it for us. But I felt so wrong, and I called the cops. I was like, yo, get this bitch out of here right now. Because no, it's a good thing you did that. Because she's called. She's like, she, all she needed to do was to just cry rape. Yeah, that's and all. That'd have been Super nothing. Good but I just felt that. really wrong. Mad that's ranks would have dro- uh, people. You motherfuckers would have lost fucking rank. Right. Mad Dude. shit. I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about that. She's I was probably just, a captain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, look at these fucking boots. Uh, fucking dude. boots. Give me that dude. dick. She's like, I'm going to sit on so many faces. I'm going to haze you with this puss. She's like, who wants a fucking circum? <laughs> oh, uh, that's a good one. So I, 
I wasn't even thinking about like any of that shit. I just felt wrong. I was like, yo, this girl is like really messed up. Um, I got to get her out of here because this girl is about to get like fucking raped. And I got her out of my car. Jeez. Yeah, I just felt wrong. I was like, I got her in my car. But all that aside, if a girl's like, oh, it's not rape if it's willing, green light. Green light. Green light. So, okay. So, okay. so you just have to hear those words come out of her mouth. Yeah, it's got to, no, not just to hear those words. It's got to be consensual. And then like, uh, yeah, I it's got to be okay, consensual. You, 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 you I, I make it sound like, a, no. She's throughout no, the day, you just got to hear it's not no, rape no. if it's willing. <laughs> and then if she passes out, it's still play. You know, I don't, that's what it sound like. It's got to be consensual. Yeah. But, and, and, yeah, this is also like that too, you know. <laughs> consent. <laughs> if you consent, if you consent to rape on Monday, and let's just say you passed out on Friday, you consent. Like, that's still a consent. <laughs> that's still not a consent. <laughs> you can probably take that to court, but look, she consented on Monday. Said on I didn't Monday, know till how long this Friday, consent ended. Um, she didn't true. specify it. She didn't specify The expiration of the consent. Fault. If I say I want to fuck and then we don't fuck, I still want to fuck. The expiration of a consent did not expire. <laughs> <laughs> Has uh, great shelf life. <laughs> there, there was one time, like we didn't, um, like it was weird. Like we didn't, no one, no one made a move, but this chick, like we were driving, like literally from here, yeah, going to the fucking city. And uh, I remember we were on, oh, fuck, where, where the fuck were we? We were on like Meeker, like turning onto Metro, mm-hmm. and there was like a girl just like chilling there at the fucking light, and she was just like, like you could tell, like she was just looking like fucking nice, you know? What I mean, she was a little twisted, yeah. And then we were like, yo, you want to ride? She's like, where are you guys going? Like, yo, we're going to a club in the city. She's like, okay. And then she just got in the middle. Yo, there's like, there, I think there was like eight or nine of us in the car. It was like, it was like uh, me, Red, like, a, it was a bunch of us. She just sat in the middle and just started stroking, yeah. stroking us. Yeah. 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 And then I'm going to be honest with you. Like, like I was just like, yeah, this is a, uh, this chick is definitely like super going to get fucking like. Yeah. Like, she's going to get filled. <laughs> yeah, but then I'm like yeah. stuff the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I was like I was like, yeah, this is I felt guilty. Like, you know what I mean? I didn't stop it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I didn't stop it. I felt bad. I felt bad. I was like, hey, I was like, I'm Angel and she's like, cool. <laughs> I was like, all right. I won't remember your name. It's a fucking hardcore fun, is what that sounds like. Yeah. That's pretty nuts, man. Sounds like it. Guys, we're at an hour and thirty eight. What do you guys feel? You think you want to keep going or I mean I go I keep going. Yo, but I don't know. What? The one time we did have a fucking, <laughs> of we gang banged the girl, it was like, the chick was like, we were like, yo, we have your consent, right? She's like, yeah. She's like, I said, yeah, already. I said, I was going to make sure. I was like, got to make sure. Yeah, I was like, hey, like, we just ask it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should have been in the background, like, all right, got it. He just fucking stopped recording. I was like, I got it. She said, yeah. There was like, I got every it. one of us got like a video, had a video at one point where we were like, we're asking her, like, you got consent? She's <laughs> just like, you gotta, you gotta, and oh, here's like, oh, here's. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, and there's only your consent. Go, go, uh-huh. <laughs> like consent, just, right? Yeah, consent. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's just, it was just like crazy, man. I was like, all right. Let me see what happens if I play this. Is it gonna play? I was like, can I t- can we take a picture together? I was like, us, and then they're like, yeah, why? I was like, dude, I was like, I want to know what this girl's face looks like in the morning. <laughs> He's like, yeah, come on. Try it out, try it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. Oh, okay. Why the fuck am I going to stop? I don't know. And my sound bites are working, so we can use that now. That's true. Yeah, we never got to finish what else we liked about New York. Was that the, was that it for our list? Was it? I don't know. Nah, I don't think that was it. Was that it? I think so. Uh, I don't know. I, I still like a couple of other things what about you, New York. Like? Huh? To be honest with you, what I like you fucking cold. I like the, yeah, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm, I like the out in the open, like you know, like jokes. You know what I mean? Like, like if you're from New York, you make like some racist jokes, and everybody's like, it's a joke. Like yeah. you're from New York, you know what I mean? You well, you're like not that. from New York. Those are the people that are yeah. offended. That's true. You know, Joe Rogan was saying that about the difference between the East Coast and the West Coast jokes. You know, <clears throat> the East Coast jokes. <clears throat> I forgot what he was saying about the East Coast jokes, but they were like more nicer. Um, um, M- more like personal orientated but yeah. he said east coast jokes are vicious they're all fucking Super. just vicious it's they're, they're just prejudice yeah well no it's just vicious <laughs> it's more like it's, it's more funny ins- it's you gotta, dirty it's all about insult insulting someone and it's like it's funny as shit yeah because you're, you're calling each that. other out. yeah you're calling each other out you know what i mean yeah yeah it's good i like, like it i was telling this guy at my job because he's like he's like like <laughs> he comes up to me he's like 
every time I come around, he's like, you're just sitting there not doing your job. He's like, you people have a way. And I'm like, wait a fucking minute, man. I'm like, what did you just say? He's like, I said, every time I come around, you people. I'm like, yeah. I was like, you people? I was like, it's Black History Month, motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, don't say that shit to me. <laughs> when, when, I, when I was at the Korean barbecue, one of my boys, he was black. He was fucking um, he was fucking up. He was just fucking up the order. <clears throat> he just kept fucking up the order. So it was, just, it was me, me, him, and a few other people. And my other brother said to me, he was black too. And I was like, yo, fucking Spooner. I was like, yo, it's February, bro. You fucked up the whole month. It's your month, bro. You fucked it up. <laughs> fucking up so much. I was like, there's always one in the group, right? There's always one in the group. <laughs> He's like, yo, you fucking dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, but that's what I like. I like I like shit like that too. Like even you're hanging out with your Italian friends and they're like, yo, I just like they're like if they're, like you run let's say they're like, yo, like I just had mad food. I'm like, yeah, I know you're Italian. Yeah. <laughs> like the pasta, the anti pasta, the so right. bad. <laughs> yeah, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, the fucking fucks. everything, man. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I just I prefer the I prefer the jokes too because you know what I mean. Even then, like when I make like Latino jokes, you know what I mean. Like like the like, Latinos get offended. Like, are you sure the big Latino? And I'm like, no, it's just really it's fucking just, funny. It's just you know a joke, yeah, bro. Just just a joke. Fuck Black out. Guys. Like I was, they don't get that shit, man. They just get real ass hurt. It was, I was talking to this girl with hoop earrings on, right? This Colombian chick, and then like I'm like, uh, <laughs> shit. I, I was like, yeah. She was. I was like, are you Latina? And she's like, oh. She's like, yeah. Obviously, she's like, I like that. I was like, nope. It's. I was like, it's just your hoop earrings and your fucking name around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> your hair is up. <laughs> I was like, I was like, and your you highlights. Know, yeah, I was like, your your highlights. highlights. <laughs> I was like, everything. But yeah, like everything. I was like, everything about you just looks like super Latina. I was like, if if you had just like straight up like one color hair, I'd be like, yeah, she could be European. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> she was like, what? Son of a bitch. Who's <laughs> that? I don't know. It's a mic drop, son. Dude, but you know, like, you got to also be careful because some yeah, people- Yeah, you do. Because people get real here, offended now. Yeah, because oh, people here, like, that Bro, That only applies to real New Yorkers. Like crazy, son. You know, like, that only applies sure. to real New Yorkers, but Bro. people like yuppies from out of town or whatever, they're not from New York. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. When I was working at NBC- oh, um, What a terrible- I, I was, <laughs> What a PC place yeah. that was. <laughs> so, I was working in front of, in front of the desk, um, and I was working with someone else, and- this kid, I, he knows who I. This kid knows my personality. Oh, he knows I'm a fucking sailor. Yeah. You know, I don't give a shit. You know, like I'm a sailor. I'll be myself. And um, he stepped away. The kid stepped away. And one of another person came in. And now I know his name. His name is Will. Yeah. Um, before I didn't know who he was. Um, so he came in. He came in asking for him. And I told him, hey, he stepped away. Or whatever. Anyways, long story short. Um, the kid comes back and sits down right next to me. I told him, hey, man, um, some dude, some guy um, came asking for you. And he was like, who was he? Who was he? I don't know. He was the gay dude. He came up and asked for He was like, he got so offended as soon as I said the gay dude. You know, I don't know the guy's name. I don't never met the guy. I just know like, oh, this guy is like fucking, you know. Yeah, this guy's gay. This guy's gay. That's it. It's nothing wrong with saying some, some, somebody's yeah. gay. But this guy got so offended. Got so offended. Anyways, I didn't get the job um, because of that. So it was I, like, I thought it was the other. I thought was, I thought it was the other thing. Which other thing? When the girl you found out the girl was a lesbian, he was like, "Yo, so she's gay," and he was all like, oh, "Hi, hey, don't fucking meow 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 meow." Yeah, I'll protect her. Meow meow. No, meow. the story was that he's gay, and I was trying to tell him, "It's like, hey, this gay guy over here, he was asking yeah. for you," and oh, he got so offended, bro. Shit, he could not believe. That someone had has said that to him. He could not believe that someone would say that in the real world. Like that shit would come out of someone's mouth. Oh, because <clears throat> you, you should have just told me, like, like, "Hey, PC I, shit, son. That shit is fucking gay as AIDS." Yeah, because you just gonna be like, "Hey, man, like you know, you just have good gaydar." Yeah, yeah. So spotted him. him. Spotted him. But listen, I just, yeah. my gaydar is just really up there. I'm really sorry, I'm woke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just be like, my shit was pinging. What do you yeah, want me to say? My shit was going off the charts. Just tell. Yeah. Oh, his fucking his his gala was over nine thousand. But this kid is not this kid is not a real New Yorker. This kid is obviously an out of towner or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. Yeah, because you know what? That's true. Like gay gay people grow up in New York. They can take a fucking joke. They can take a fucking joke. They can take a joke. Yeah. And I don't care. They can take a joke. They use the word faggot so much. Yeah, and they they can take they can take a joke like they take a dick yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah take tons of them <laughs> <laughs> those are fine <laughs> <though. laughs> it's like I'm a twink I'm alright alright I can take a joke <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I'm a power top uh, super fucking bottom bear over there. <laughs> you know, like, like dude yeah but you know what I mean that's the thing it's true like when you're from like New York you know what I mean that's the, like you said tough skin once again tough skin, yeah, that's, bro, that's tough like happens, your thing you know what I mean you can take a fucking skin. joke yeah like bro like I don't know I've, I've had like 
so many people say so much racist shit. You guys say racist shit, and we're both fucking like like we're Latino. You know, yeah. What I, mean? I say so much racist. Yeah, shit, you know, and I, I don't like to be honest with you. Like, I don't even fucking care. Like, when so, the jokes. Yeah, yeah. Jokes. when you say racist, I fucking what, Dominican joke. I they're, dude. I, sometimes I steal them. I'm like so fucking funny. Yeah, a lot so of good. Funny shit. Dude, good, dude. And you know what? That's like in my job. To the point where now I call Dominicans racist. island beaners. I call. I call yeah, I, I, that's are, contagious. I, use I call them I island call, beaners. I call them island beaners now. Island beaners are cool. Yeah, call them island beaners now. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm a fellow island beaner. What's up? Yo, but it's like, like it's mad fucking crazy though. You know what I mean? Because like it's true, man. Like you got fucking trolls everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they're all over the <laughs> trolls. <fucking place>. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like it's cool. Also, um, but I also get like you just can't be abruptly like bring those racist jokes to some people or to people. Yeah, you, you don't know them. Like you gotta at least like wait yeah. a minute. Can I can I be myself around this person? You have to like be yeah. wise. Yeah, you got yeah you got to test the waters with like little comments. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you got to be like you got to ease it in. Because yeah. I, cause I had one guy, your out. friend, your Italian friend, who's, you know, who's, who said I didn't know word? him. I never, oh, I never met him in my life. Out of nowhere. Said, speak out of nowhere. Yo, when they told us, like, I was like, whoa. I, I'm not offended, but like, how do I, I don't even yeah. know you. You're a white dude. How do I, I know like, you fucking? Yeah, I was like, it's okay for him to say me, it, but. Buy me least, lunch first, yeah. bro. Like, buy me dinner. Fucking, yeah. let's chill. Let's smoke some weed or something. Drop an no, N-word if you were there, or a Jew, or kike first. He did. He said it all. But he was like. No, he didn't say it all. Yeah, he was like, yeah, he was this dude. We were working together. He was, it was me and like two other Marines who were working in like, that I met in training when we were doing uh working at the airport yeah you know used to be tsa yeah, but no i was asa oh shit asa so, yeah i don't know what so is that tsa is like the middle so they're the terminal security agents yeah. and asa is the airport security agent so we basically oh, okay. monitor the outside oh so like yeah when i was working with them like it was two of them and like it was all three of us were latino yeah and like um what is it like one was like colombian and so was this guy but he was half colombian and half italian and when we saw him and like like the same thing like he was just like like one of the other guys I was like like he said uh, I forget what he said he was like yeah I'm half whatever and then we just like all started making like jokes about it and then he just started saying like spick and everything and, like Jesus oh Jesus bro yeah <clears throat> but it was like I don't know it's cool whatever yeah. Yeah. I mean it didn't offend me but I was like damn. Yeah. yeah, but like he didn't, uh, he didn't like it was just like hey my name is Rick you I know spick? Jose I know Jose was like I want to kill him yeah yeah Jose <laughs> was like what the fuck. <laughs> yeah He was like Yo are you really a fucking marine <laughs> Like He's like No I was like Oh god Dude we're at an hour and 48 I think I think Wait we gotta talk about um, The Joe Rogan podcast With uh, Alex Jones you talk- Some- I didn't see the whole thing I can pull it up though Go ahead. You didn't see yeah. the whole thing. I thought you said you saw the whole. I don't know. I, I said I saw up to like twenty minutes. I couldn't oh, do it anymore. Dude. I was like, this fucking wacko, dude. This dude's all out of his fucking out mind. Out of it. He was out of it. But to his credit, he was showing actual evidence for some of the stuff he, that was. he was talking about. Sure, he was. Like actual fucking articles. Yeah, there's a clip news. here. Alex Jones freaks out Joe. Dude, it's funny shit. Minutes. It's funny shit. Fourteen minutes. Thirteen. Oh. It's really funny, man. Um, Say, who are they? They're scientist cults who are based on uh, your uh, psychic ability. Oh, tits. It's buffing. Uh, And on your IQ and then on your commitment to the program. Is this 14 minutes long? It's like 13 minutes. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Don't do it. This Uh, is taking forever. But yeah, go ahead. I didn't didn't get all the way in, but I I knew it was taking a, a dive. When he when he was like so the program he was like, starts I don't with shut the fuck up when, I, when he was like I don't want to keep talking about me I want to talk about other things and I'm like dude why the fuck do you think you're on here stupid dude he was all over the place it was funny as shit though it was all over the place but I to my to his credit I he was saying some truthful things and I think he's on point he just doesn't have the defined details like he's on point I I believe and I believe in aliens I believe in aliens and I'm like yo this guy oh yeah for sure this fucking there's fucking no way aliens. there is a man yeah and I am. This world is too big for that to not yeah. be a thing, man. Yo, can you believe that fucking Dan Cook's girlfriend is like 20 years old? Jesus Christ. That's young as fuck. Young as fuck. Wait a minute. How old is he? That nigga's like 40 fucking seven, almost 50. Damn, bro. He's old. i am be honest with you. I kind of think that's cool. And it looks <laughs> gross because he's got that old man body. Yeah. Like he looks like he's still trying to be hip. 
You can tell that his body's like, nah, Only man, Only if she's we're hot not. and mature, though. Only if yeah. she's hot and mature. That's she's hot and mature, but it's like, She's damn. not mature. There's no such thing Probably, as a mature 20-year-old. Yeah, That's 20. not a real thing. It's true. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. not. But she's, she's not. hot. Yeah. <laughs> but she's hot. Yeah. yeah, no one reaches, like, maturity until they're at least, like, 25. Maybe she's one of those girls. She's like, I fuck my professor, so I'm, I'm fucking profound. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe she's one of those. I read a lot of philosophy books while yeah. I did my nails. Yeah, <laughs> you know? That's fucked up. <laughs> Women are like, oh, that's all we do? That's what <laughs> we just do our nails? No. We just do our nails? No, you make sandwiches too. Take it easy. <laughs> Jesus. You know that we were getting offended. I just said that. Like, <laughs> these know. motherfuckers. Listen, if they're, if they're listening to this, they get that it's a joke. They, yeah. know, they know my style, my stilo. And all jokes are based on a little bit of reality, so. Yeah, Jeez. I mean, you know how to make a sandwich, right? All right. right. So I didn't fucking lie. Did your nails because you don't look like Wolverine, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't paint them, but maybe they're there. You know what I mean? They're clean, right? <laughs> Either way, somebody's going to make my sandwich. <laughs> but no, yeah, man. So yeah. you want to talk about it? Let's Aliens? talk about it. No, you didn't you watch it. I thought the, No, uh, but I mean, I'm not going to watch the whole man, thing. You what, can kind of give a synopsis yeah. of some parts. I don't know. I don't, uh, so long, bro. N- never mind. Just, 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 give, some, just give some pointers. Just just bring up one conversation from me since you say you wanted to bring about it. What? So long. I got something just I want to talk one. about. Just pick one. What's that? All right. So you guys believe in aliens? Yeah. No. Do you believe in monsters? No. No one? No. No. You guys don't believe in monsters? No. Like, you believe things can come from out of the country, I mean, from out of this planet, but nothing that's hidden in here that we can actually, like, like get killed like, from? Like Bigfoot? Like, you believe in Lock demons? Monster? You believe in demons? Yeah, I believe in demons. So you oh, yeah, believe demons, in demons? Yeah, okay. but I, I, yeah, but I don't believe in, like, that Bigfoot shit. No, like, no, 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 no. Not like, like Bigfoot. Unless Bigfoot is really an alien. But, like, the Loch Ness uh, Monster? No. No, I don't believe in Loch Ness Monster. That could be real. But it's not. It's you not. don't know that. But it's, uh, not. but it's not. We don't know that. Yeah, but, but I do. But no not. one's discovered all of, like, Lake Ness. True. Yes, they have. No, they haven't. They yeah, they have. have. No, they they haven't. scanned the whole fucking... The whole sonar? What about yeah. all the underwater caves in there, then? Have they discovered all of those? No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have. Nope, they have not. Mm-hmm. Google it. Yeah. Bitch, you have a phone. You put it on. I don't yeah. need to prove it to you. I'm making a bold statement. <laughs> so am I. My statement is nine. But what's your point, though? Nine, 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your point, though? All right, what I'm saying is that, like, right, why wouldn't things like that exist? You know, or maybe they did exist. You know what they I mean? They did, obviously. That was a you guys think thing. dragons they existed? Existed? dinosaur. But they don't. But not dra- anymore. What about dragons? Dragons. Mm, dragons possibly. hasn't been real, man. I really hope at one day they did. They, I yeah. definitely didn't think they did, all right? But I think dragons are like, I think dragons- um, They're just giant lizards and we killed them all off. That's what we did. That breathe fire and fly? No, not that breathe fire, man. Maybe they just shot shit out of their mouth. You know what I mean? It was flammable. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? People walk around with torches. Like, you don't know what the fuck is super acidic out. saliva or something. I'm wow. just saying there are creatures that shoot shit out of their mouth. I just had a deja vu of a dream I had today. Oh, uh, yeah? What? Did, did you jab you tell you that that was um, a thing? I, what kind of Roman were you? It was, <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> it was uh, a dream that I had today about a fire spitting lizard. Riding your chariot? No, which is a fire spitting lizard. Okay. And, fire I'm, spitting and I'm talking about it, it right like now. Spitting fire, and I was like, "What?" And then you're talking about it, so it's kind of it like. Uh, look, all, all I'm saying is that, but like, it's a possibility, right? Because think about it: there it are th- are lizards out there that shoot shit at you. Do you know yeah, what I mean? But I don't think I definitely don't think it's fire. No, I'm not saying it's fire, but yeah, I'm just saying they can spit no, something yeah. out that's flammable. Yeah, even sure. even snakes shoot out like some snakes yeah. shoot venom. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm saying that it's it's possible like, like, in the past. Uh, the Komodo dragon, their saliva is like super toxic. Yeah, super poisonous. If it fucking touches our cu- like you die. Yeah, it, it paralyzes it's you. Fucking the and amount, it's po- yeah, and it's the poisonous. Amount of, yeah, because yeah, yeah, also because the amount of fucking bacteria in it, you fucking die. Yeah. Yeah, like shit like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think dragons existed because think about like if you look at a f- the way they draw dragons and like it's in the a- Chinese Asia. zodiac too, man. But yeah, that, yeah, and you know it's an actual character. So it's like the and one thing about the, the, the dragon, dragon, the dragon, the dragon sign is that no one knows the characteristics of the dragon because no one's ever like no one er- has ever like studied it because it hasn't been around. But every other animal has characteristics because they're still around. You know what I'm saying? But except for the dragon, which is weird. But that's but that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like dragons were God like damn probably right, like, majestic. Dragons were probably like hunted. You know what I mean? They were like, oh, if you find if you bring us a dead dragon, it's worth like this much. You yeah. know what I mean? Like because think about how big they were. You know what I mean? So like yeah. that's what that's what I think. Like if, if it was like back in the day, but wouldn't there mean? be like fossils of dragons and shit? I mean, there's fossils of dinosaurs. Yeah, Won't there's there no fossils? motherfucking I mean, fossils. No I, motherfucking dragons. I I know, but that's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying. Like even then, like let's say like that's that's how they went extinct. Like someone hunted them down. Like you know what I mean? Because people were like, even a dead carcass of a fucking dragon is worth something. Unless it's like unless it's like the Chinese people where like they take the ivory from the. Uh, um, from the elephant and they use it 
Unless maybe they used that, the bones for of the dragon. Yeah. But, that's, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they, yeah, they were probably like, this thing is, is ginormous and it spits like fucking whatever. And if, if it spits something out of fire, it'll like, like make fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it could be something like, think like Komodo dragons are pretty fucking big. I imagine it's yeah, bigger than fucking that. Dodo birds were the biggest bird out there and they're extinct now. You know what I mean? Maybe the dragons were super ginormous but slow. That's why that baby ass fucking legs. You know what I'm saying? And they were like one of those creatures like, oh, if it comes near me, I'm like, I'll eat it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, like that's that's what I think. Cause then, eat it. I'm just saying, even then, like, there's there's other, like, there's other creatures, right? Like, like think about how many continents have fucking dragons in their fucking sort. Like, Europe, Asia, right? And fucking South America, right? Were there dragons in Africa? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but they had, they, you know what I mean? Like, they had shit like that. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, I'm not high enough to have this conversation <laughs> fully the way I want to. Oh, okay. But I can see it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, that's what I'm getting at. I'm just saying it's possible for these things to exist, and they're just, like, extinct. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, that's what you're saying. Because mm-hmm. humanity's done that a lot. Like, there's a lot of... Fuck, yeah. But, you know, Dude, we're doing it. We're about, about to extinct rhinos. Yeah. Think mm-hmm. about that. The you crazy I mean? thing about humanity is, like, when you take the uh, DNA test... It says like there's like unknown DNA, untraced DNA. We don't know where the yeah. DNA come from, and it's like um, first of all, so, like you read the history books, or I'm sorry, the textbooks. It says it's like 22 Mine's human, different human DNAs, 22 okay. different strains of human DNAs. But when Dragon you take <clears throat> when you take the DNA test, it says it's more other DNA, and that's just like freaky as shit. You're telling me like obviously everyone has African DNA. Obviously, everyone has African DNA, but not just, they just don't have African DNA. There's unknown DNA. Oh, no, there's shit there that we just don't know where it there's comes from. There's just shit from. that we don't know where it came from. Yeah, that's That's, that's the crazy. fucking like, crazy what thing. what is this? We're aliens, bro. And then you, Prometheus if you look was a at, real thing. But the thing is, if you look at, if you look at history, this is the most yeah. interesting thing. If you look at history, you look at all these cultures and they try to preserve their bloodline, like the Jewish people. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of these ancient cultures try to preserve their bloodline they're not preserving Mexicans. the blood they're preserving the dna the dna is what they're preserving like breeding within themselves to make it last longer and the problem is like all of these cultures obviously they didn't have enough discipline to keep it together to last this long so they kind of broke apart but when you look at the jewish religion they didn't fuck their fucking yeah. they didn't fuck their their they didn't incest enough. yeah but when yeah. you look at the jewish when you look at the jewish religion like those people were disciplined. Like, if they're religiously speaking, they were, they had rules. I don't know if it's discipline or they just got conned really well. Have you seen that? <laughs> Have you seen that shit about <laughs> the Hasidics and Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Think about us. it. Have Think about this. Shit? Think about this. There's something to it because Jewish people's DNAs are obviously shown to be the smartest people in the world, in the planet. Most of the Nobel Peace Laureates are a lot of Jewish people. Think about it. Yo, you a lot of the people. Bunches of votes. Yeah, but I don't know milk. You never got shit that go together. What the fuck is up with that, man? I, I'm really healthy, bro. I eat that with water now. You're a lying sack of dicks. You eat it dry. No, I eat it with water. I saw it in your fucking ashtray. You eat it dry. Gave, gave tree gave some that. fucking weed. <laughs> tree now. likes uh, honey bunches of oats with ashes. <laughs> Give Gabe <laughs> weed now. They, they really do don't Anyways, waste anything. Let's so end this, there. guys. Yeah. Let's end this. I want to eat. Yeah, I'm fucking hungry. All right, let's go, guys. I'm going to collect the last 10 minutes out, anyways. Goodbye. We have 10 minutes left. No, I said the last time it's been a couple. Oh, okay. I'm never going to do that, that last shit funny thing that we said, though. All right. We're, at, we're hitting it two hour right here. Damn. Even? Um, I'm not gonna say well, me right now. Fucking don't forget to rate and subscribe. Meow meow meow. You're gonna listen to me wherever, wherever you're listening to me now. Keep listening to me there. But if you got a fucking friend, a buddy, you know someone's fucking taking a long trip somewhere on a train. I don't know. Fucking something's going somewhere. They're going on a flight that's like three hours. You know what I mean? You can listen to me on Stitch Radio, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, iTunes, of course, Google Play, uh, SoundCloud. Uh, uh, my website, website which is mobile friendly. For all you people who are keep asking me, there, yeah, it's fucking mobile friendly. I'm pretty sure I said this before, or I thought I did in my head after I was recording. But yeah, it's mobile friendly. You fucking open up your your web your web browser, you fucking go to it. You press play, you can exit out, close your phone, it still plays. As long as your phone's on, of course. 
So yes, it is mobile friendly. Um, all but soon the Pandora thing, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. I kept going back and forth with emails, and they're like, really, I'm really close to trying to lead a bag of dicks. But um, we'll see. But yes, I'm not. I mean, it's Pandora. Who the fuck listens? Who really uses Pandora anymore? Right? I'll see you next week now. <laughs> Thank you.